Okay, we have a render to claim logo. And... <gasps> He's back and better than ever! And it gets an Austin shout out. It's no longer Iguana, by the way. It's a claim stu... Oh. from Austin, Texas, home of the dearly departed Iguana Entertainment. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. Uh, rip that iguana. But in good news, did you know that there's a restaurant near us that serves iguana? What? <laughs> is this is this is this new? Did this thing just suddenly pop up? Yeah. Uh, it's the new trend. But it did. Pop, but that is real. I just thought I'd tell you. Okay. I don't know why now? Good, Anyways, you know what happened. To good him. time to tell me that right at the start of the show, so you immediately break my brain. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be thinking about fried iguana all night as we play games from Iguana Entertainment and several people who were involved with the Claim Entertainment on the N64. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. We're going to play a bunch of really kind of jank in 64 games, maybe discover some hidden gems, and uh, mainly just get an idea of what it was like back in 1997 and 8 and 9 with uh, an N64. What would you do with an N64? You'd probably buy at least a few Acclaim games, and uh, that's the experience we're going for I was going to say, I don't think you would have a choice to not play Acclaim back then. Yeah, the library was like, <laughs> seriously, like 10% of the N64's library, <laughs> so you have a very good chance of... Uh, having seen these games before at some point. We got some folks to thank. Mm -hmm. Alex, uh, why don't you uh, why don't you do the thanking? Thank you, Comma Chameleon, for the 54-month resub. Do appreciate that. Thank you so much, Comma. Thank you. Thank you, Fidget, 48-month <laughs> resub. That's four years. Yeah, four whole ass years. Thank Congrats you so on much. four years. Thank you, Punky Crisp, 33-month resub. 33. 33. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you, Punky. Thank you. Thank you also uh, to the opponent for the raid. Let me just give you a shout out here. Hey there, so hope you, you had a good stream. Let's see, hold on. I'm untangling some cords in the background here. Also, thank you to No Problem, 68 month resub. That's a whole that's, lot of months. God, that's so many months. Thank you. And thank you to St. Asper Team, 250 bits. Let's wreck some balls. <laughs> many balls will be wrecked tonight. That's for damn sure. Oh, and thank you, Pirata Pequeño, for the two-month resub. Yo, yo to you, too. Yo. Welcome to the show. Thank you for the sub. Okay, Acclaim. You know them. You possibly loathe them. <laughs> They've been around since the NES days, where they just pumped out game after game after game, often based on licensed properties, often ports of popular arcade games that were kind of rushed to market. Uh, they made quite a name for themselves <laughs> on 8-bit and 16-bit. And when it came time to uh, head to 32-bit and 64-bit, well... That's where we come in. Mm -hmm. This week's poll, we asked our patrons, what did they want to see in an N64 catalog showcase? It turned out like this. <clears throat> this was a special two-week poll. It was tied dead even for the entire time, up until the very last day. A claim pulled ahead. Mm -hmm. Sorry, THQ heads. Uh, your day is another day, I guess. You'll also, do you exist? We'll be back for you. Don't worry. <laughs> all the THQ fans, all one of them? Who's still alive? I don't know. I mean, someone's got to like THQ. It's true. It's true. It stands for the... The... Don't, don't say anything, guys. He's, he's got it. <laughs> what does it stand for, Alex? The homos of quality. That's exactly what it is. The homos uh, of quality. Uh, <laughs> Good job, Alex. <laughs> We're doing great this stream. <laughs> so, Acclaim. They had... Uh, they had a. They were probably approaching the N64 with dollar signs in their eyes at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, last time around, we did an N64 catalog showcase. It was for Midway. Midway published like 40 games for the N64, making up literally like 20% of its library. Uh, Acclaim was very also much in the same boat as Midway. They had a lot of cash to spend, a lot of genres to stink up with their games. <laughs> and uh, so they started on the N64 in 1997, real close to the console's release. So after you got your fill of Mario 64 pilot mm -hmm. wings, and after you rented like Shadows of the Empire and fucking Mortal Kombat Trilogy and Killer Instinct Gold, Wave Race, 
That's all of them. That's all the N64 games in the first year. That's all you got. After that point, you'd be excited to head to your local Blockbuster and see a copy of Turok Dinosaur Hunter. Their first release for N64. Oh, shit. No controller pack. Right, let's no, let's go home. No saving. Let's go. <laughs> You're going to see that a lot tonight. Acclaim really cheaped out on a lot of their games, and almost all of them require a controller pack to save. Other companies would have uh, internal battery backup, but not the claim. There he is! Developed with pride in Austin, Texas. Rest in fried nuggets. <laughs> Sad they fried up that iguana after the company closed. After they went through all the trouble of making Batman Forever the arcade game. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm back in my element, and my element is uh, expertise of Valiant Comics. <laughs> All right, let me just adjust the screen for everybody here. Turok Dinosaur Hunter is based on a comic book from Valiant. Uh, they launched their number one comic with much acclaim in the mid-90s. It had a chromium cover. Millions were produced. All the dads around the world were convinced it was going to be a collector's item, so they snapped it up. Mm -hmm. And then there was this N64 game, where you start off... And it doesn't really explain much of anything. And unlike other FPSs you may have played, control is mapped to the fucking face buttons. It's so weird. You gotta push the freaking C-stick control buttons, and then you move with the analog stick, and it recenters of all things. Look at this. It's insane. Ugh. It's like it's a space harrier cabinet or some shit. <clears throat> somehow, somehow I played all the way through this when it was new because there was literally nothing else to play for N64. I rented this, all played right. the shit out of it. Oh, sorry about that. Fix the sound. There we go. Oh, sorry, oh. dude. Oh, Jeez. Rip. Did you just got him like a fish? No, I sliced his jugular vein. Oh, okay, that's normal. It's normal stuff. Is he gonna eat it? All right, Turok, find the keys. So, I've not been ta paying the most attention, but some attention. Have there been no dinosaurs? There's no dinosaurs yet. Okay. The dinosaurs, dinosaurs are coming. Happen. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, if there are no dinosaurs, then this game is an absolute fail. I shot that deer in the ass, and it dropped a gun. <laughs> cool! That deer was packing heat! So the premise here is Turok is a Native American warrior. He attacks with bows and arrows and knives. Mm -hmm. Except not, because two minutes into the game he gets a fucking gun and he never looks back. Well, that's cool. You can kind of hunt animals for health, which I think is... Yeah, is something. Also, first-person shooters on consoles were still novel at this point, so we didn't oh! really have any kind of reference point for what makes a good game or what that's... makes it playable. Hey! He hunted a dinosaur! He did! He did it! All that blood came out of it, too. Yeah. Now here's the fucked part of this game. Notice the jumping? That's because this is a 3D platformer. No! Later levels of the game you're doing all this impossible platforming over bottomless pits. And it's all with this presentation. I didn't mention the fog before, did I? I the game, yeah. uh, it just looks like this. <laughs> this game was kind of infamous for the amount of fog it used because they couldn't render much in front of you. Got better in later games, but way back at the start of the N64's lifespan, games were kind of looking like this. Is Turok a mascot? I, maybe? I mean, he technically, you know. Oh my god, you just you just reminded me of something unintentionally. Uh, earlier today, there was a PlayStation showcase showing all the new games coming to PS5. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And it started off, it started off with like a clip from, a, or rather at the end, there was this clip from Spider-Man 2, which is coming out soon. Oh, yeah. And it started off not showing Spider-Man, it was showing off some dude in a, a jungle or something. It's this guy who pulled out a knife and was going through all the foliage. And one guy in chat was like, Oh my god, Turok! <laughs> <laughs> like Sony's next big... <laughs> their next big budget that... prestige video game is going to be no Turok. No way! That kicks ass! No way! I, I love... The one guy who was looking for new Turok was, was oh, in that chat, and he oh was so god, disappointed. I love him! <laughs> oh, I want the Here's world the... for him! Here's the platforming, by the way. This uh, is not... Thank you, uh... Thank you to the Ultimo for 120 bits. I am Turok. Yes. I am Turok. Thank you. I think you a super cat. 10 month reset. Turok the dinosaur. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. 
So already they're throwing this ridiculous platforming at you. If you fall off this, you're dead. You gotta go back to, uh... I don't think there's checkpoints. You gotta save on the freaking controller pack, which I don't have, so... This this run is, uh... I guess it's permadeath. But the good things, this game keeps a very quick pace. Notice how I picked up, like, five new weapons in the space of, like, two minutes. <laughs> it, it wastes no time in getting going. And uh, for the time, it was actually really fun. They even remade Turok 1 and 2, and uh, I think a lot of people were looking forward to those. So maybe there's more Turok superfans out there than I thought. It just killed me. <laughs> Not knowing what the game is at the end of the presentation and one guy just jumping to the conclusion that it's Turok. I mean, it should be. By all means, the next big budget prestige release <laughs> should be Turok. Bring it back for the new generation. Put like $400 billion into it and spend 15 years developing it. The world's first one tetrabyte game. <laughs> they have to invent a new storage device for that. Like Super Blu-ray. <laughs> but anyway, this is Turok. And uh, with this game playing as well as it does and coming out when it did on the N64, that pretty much... Ew. Cool. That brought acclaim a whole lot of uh, positive buzz, which they used to make 32 additional games for the N64. Let's play them all. We gotta book it through this library. They made so many games. They are, I think, second only to Midway in terms of uh, games released for N64. I'm sorry, third after Midway and Nintendo, of course. Also coming out in the first year was Extreme G. I don't know if you can hear our mournful cat in the background. He's playing out there. Yeah, our cat has a game where he will take one of his stuffed animals and take the stuffing out of it. And He'll wrestle it in slow motion while making horrible noises like, oh, oh, oh. It's like he kills and mourns it at the same time. <laughs> it's really interesting. He has a very elaborate uh, yeah. imagination. That he, likes, he liked the stuffing so much, I actually took all the stuffing out so it wouldn't hurt him, and I just replaced it with, like strips of a sock so it's not something he could like choke on or whatever and uh he just every morning we wake up with like the innards of this of this guy just all over right <laughs> yeah, like i have much. to replace it every morning i have to re-gut the stuffed animal it's so disgusting well these cars look cool so i guess this is like the n64's answer to wipeout looks cool kind of futuristic a racing sort of thing now, if you look at Midway's catalog, they made something like, what, 15 racing games or some shit? Not nearly as many in the Acclaim catalog, but they did try every so often. What's the Accelerate? Oh, it's Z. Chat does want to see the game over screen on this bad boy. Oh yeah? What do I do? Do I just crash? I have no clue. Uh, I assume you die like you crash. Oh, this looks pretty good. This is colorful. Yeah, I was gonna say, this looks like a game, Danny. I've never seen this game before. You do have unlimited bullets, that's pretty nice. Yeah, this does give off F-Zero at home vibes. Acclaim was pretty much the at-home uh, developer for N64. We have Mario 64 at home. Oh, uh, you mean Shadow Man? Yeah. Hey, don't don't diss Shadow Man. That's a game for adults, okay? Okay, yeah, that's true. That was Mario the first... Mario doesn't have a warning on the cover that says uh, this game is for adults only. It was so, the you first know. mature rated video game. Oh, mm -hmm. I can't just go off and crash. That's a shame. Sorry you can't crash. I can see playing this in 1997. There was so many shitty racing games for N64. Any y'all play uh, Multi Racing Championship? That was a piece of crap, that game. You made that up, that's not real. No, it was called MRC, Multi Racing Championship. And every time you hit a wall in that game, you're uh, the guy looking over you from the, the, pits, the pit lane. He says, ow, easy does it. In like that tone of voice. <laughs> no, no I, no, I believe it, I believe it. That sounds very, very probable. That's the life of renting N64 games, because this shit was expensive. You couldn't go around just buying these $80 cartridges. You had to go to Blockbuster to get a weekend's worth of play out of them. Okay, so if your screen name was Shadow Man, was it named after the N64 mature rated game? Or was it named after the Valiant comic of the same name? Oh, are they different? They are. <gasps> Actually, the uh, N64 game is based on the Valiant comic, but... What?! Yeah. How much Valiant comics were there on the N64? Oh, Alex. 
you need to watch this stream that you're currently participating in. Well, thank God I'm married to you. I can't figure out how to die in this. Do you get Sorry. like... Sorry. Sorry for folks who wanted to see us die. We were just... Maybe I just grind against the rails for a while. We're trying to die, but we're too good at this. Well, Danny's too good at this. Okay, we're doing this. <laughs> Whoa, some guy reversed my controls and took me away from the wall I was trying to grind into. Okay, I see your health going down a little bit. Come on. Come on. This is gonna be good. People wouldn't have said to do it if it wasn't good. Yeah, I'm sure Danny's gonna get into more about Valiant Comics and the claim later, because they do have an interesting history. Mm-hmm. They bet big after Turok Dinosaur Hunter. I think that's what happened. They were like, what other comics you got? We want to make some money on N64. Well, yeah, yeah. Acclaim, Acclaim bought Valiant a while back in 94. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Do you not explode? Do you just not blow up when you have no shield left? I guess not. All right, new tactic. Never listening to chat again. Okay, sorry, chat. We're done with you. <laughs> As punishment, we're going to play a football game. No, I don't want to play football. Their final release of 1997 was NFL Quarterback Club 98. All right, are you all ready for some football? Dun, 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 dun. They've got the license, the official QB club. What's the QB club? Quarterback club? Oh, yeah. Who? I'm not in the quarterback club. I, I, don't, I don't do quarterbacks. Those opening screens were nice and high resolution. This yeah, is from this Iguana good. Entertainment, too. Iguana was busy back then. They were not only making new FPSs, but they had to compete with Madden. Poor Iguanas. They were just little lizards. You know, this really is high res. Who gives the Broncos that higher rating? Acclaim! Does that piss you off, Danny? Get the fuck out of here with this shit. I'm gonna be the Broncos. Today's game is between the Jaguars and the Broncos. Is that Marv Albert? <laughs> he's not a football guy. <laughs> yeah, he's just a regular, like... He's a, he's a basketball guy, in addition to being known for other things. I was gonna be, say, I forgot if he was, a, like, a freak in the in the basketball or a freak with the baseball. Um, I... There was an option to get rid of the power meter for the kickoff, so I don't know what my power was. <laughs> that's cool. I'm glad that that's an option. 53 makes a punishing tackle. So they made a whole bunch of these for N64 because Madden was huge. And uh, even though Madden was also on N64, you had to have a competitor. Because mm -hmm. you're a claim. You can just throw all the money around. You're always going to have money, no matter what. First and ten. I'm going to go over here. Y'all don't mind, right? Can I play? I missed this earlier. Thank you so much to Polo Cat Fan for the 29 month resub. 29 months. Can't wait to see Iggy's wrecking balls. Those balls will be wrecked. Don't worry. <laughs> Eventually. Thank you. Uh, field goal. I think we can make it. First and five. I'm blocking a fake field goal right now. Let's see if they do it on first and five. <laughs> oh, for some reason they didn't do a fake field goal. <laughs> well, good news. We're going to see a lot more football tonight, so oh, good. let's move on. And that's 1997 for Acclaim. Three games that uh, honestly was a pretty good pick. They got their uh, they got uh, they got a slot in on racing. They got a sports game, and they had an FPS. Good for them. Good for them. 1998. You, you all ready for some baseball? <laughs> it is All Star Baseball 1999. I haven't played any of these uh, acclaimed baseball games. This is also by Iguana Entertainment. Those yeah! poor, those poor overworked lizards. Are we playing this in the back alley? We're we gonna be murdered. <laughs> hey, I never realized how buff that iguana is. What the hell? Yeah, he can get it. Danny. Oh, they picked the Ast the Astros for quick play. It's like that they knew. Iguana is long dead. He cannot get anything. <laughs> well, back in the day, you know. Okay, fair. Wow. <laughs> this is like mournful. All right, everybody, crotch first. Salute America with your crotch. Brought to you by Acclaim Sports. 
This, uh, this is not looking as good as and NFL quarterback Craig club. Craig Biggio. Really hit against lefties. Well, I hope I'm hitting against a lefty. How do you play this thing? All right, A button swings. Splitter. Swung on him. He was way ahead of that pitch. Look, I'm trying. I'm just impressed with the game resolutions. It's looking not so bad, you know. Resolution doesn't look bad. The detail could use some work. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. How do I hit the ball like a normal person? It looks like he's swinging to miss it on purpose. Oh, here we go. This is normal. Ow, right in the face. Uh, I mean, strike three, apparently. Derek Bell. Derek Bell, your face. Derek's fine. The, the 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 photo's fine. The polygonal model, though. <laughs> it's a, there's a reason they don't focus on these characters' faces that much. There we go. Oh, I'm out. In the batter's box, Jeff Bagwell. The pitcher should. Speaking of bags, uh, you see that clip where the the catcher threw to second base because the guy was trying to steal it and hit him right in the nutsack. Uh. Is that recent? That's, that's within the last couple weeks, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know if I've seen the nutsack strike. That's what they call a dinger. God damn it. Grounded to first base. He's out. You're grounded for that grounder. Fuck this. Fuck baseball. Fuck. We're going to play more baseball, don't worry. Oh, good, good. Also coming out in 1998. Bust a Move 2 Arcade Edition? Wait a minute. This is a real game. <laughs> that was my thought, yeah. Developed by Probe? You got a pure weird European outsource unit to make a Bust a Move game? Taito's right there. Is Probe French? They're, uh, <laughs> British. So, of course, they're porting a Japanese video game. Controller pack not present. Oh my god. Oh, they got the super CG render of Bub. <laughs> I'm glad that's the most important part of the arcade game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. This intro doesn't flow as well as it does in arcade. Yeah. Whoa, and the sound balance is all over the fucking place. Yeah, wow, okay. I Holy turn... shit. So turn that down for us a little bit. Wake up, gamers. It's time to play Bust a Move. Yeah, I was going to say, this is like some arcade mode type of thing, where they're just like, hey, arcade people, listen. It has loading in between the different uh, sequences. Also, there were some nice raster effects on the ground that I never noticed in that last scene. Crunchy audio. The audio doubles up on itself instead of, like, <laughs> doing it the regular way. Bust a Move 2 Arcade Edition for N64. I've played a lot of Bust a Move 2 mm -hmm. on the old Neo Geo MVS. And Thank I guess you. it's much the same on N64. Drinking games, I'm assuming that's the video of the guy getting nutsacked. Thank you for posting that. Oh yeah, drinking games would know. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all watch that video if you want to experience pain. Oh, whoa, the analog control. It's so analog. Is it too analog? It is. It feels weird. Does it have D-pad? Okay, good. Jeez. Music is weirdly muted. I was gonna say, it's not as crunchy in game. Well, we That's haven't done anything fancy yet. True. Oh. Give me the right pieces instead of the wrong pieces. You ever think of it? You ever think of that? No, the people at Probe were like, we're gonna screw Danny over. Fuck. But Danny has had it too good for too long! <laughs> Oh, hell no. That guy from 30 years in the future streaming this? <laughs> Fuck that. That's the trick to being competitive. You gotta throw a lot of garbage into your own screen and then drop it. Alright, that was a little uh, crunchy there. 
Cool cat. That's what I do. That's normal. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm glad they kept these scenes in the N64 one. Well, Buster Move 2 was on a whole lot of platforms. The N64 is one of them. Next game. Sometimes I don't have much to say about these. How about Extreme G2? Now that's a fast turnaround for a sequel. Maybe they got word before they even finished development. They were like, boys, this is going to be a hit. You better start making that sequel right now. <laughs> Just This game has diesel branding, the uh, the clothing line. Oh, man! <laughs> Does diesel still exist? I don't know. I, th I think we're going to see a lot of polygonal acclaim logos tonight. Call it a hunch. Probe. They're back, baby. They no, Iguana was the first one, right? Yeah. What the fuck? Well, Europeans taking jobs away from Austinites? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're taking jobs away from Texans like. Uh, Is this what you. it's like to drive an extreme G car? <laughs> uh, count me out. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't want to do this while laying on my stomach. That would suck. I just vomit all over the place. Thank you, Yad on the Cat, for the six month resub and. I do appreciate it. I'm sorry, I got distracted by the lady driving by on the screen and my brain just, just Thank froze you for, the for a sub. second. Thank you. Aquanor. The Harbor. Diesel. Everybody buy Diesel. Got it. I'm looking for an extreme contest. Uh, Atomic sounds good. Easy Atomic. I do like the UI. It's the cool. character select screen is pretty cool. Yeah, I was going to say, this is, this is pretty cool looking at least. Alright, let's see how Extreme G2 stacks up to the first one. I bet there wasn't even a year between the last game's release and this one. Yeah, did Diesel do what? Well, I'm not going to look up what Diesel did. I There's a Wikipedia article in, in chat. I'm not looking. All right, Diesel so, in my head made jeans. <laughs> yeah. You. Extreme G fans, uh, mm -hmm. which is the better game? Do you prefer the original, or did the second one really improve on things? Anyone who has perspective on this, let me know. Me, I just played Wipeout on PlayStation, and I was like, this is all right. Apparently, if I was British, I would have lost my fucking mind, and it would have been my favorite game ever. I jettisoned my weapon. Did you see that? You did. <laughs> I don't need this. Alright, chat saying the uh, Extreme G2 was better, but overall Wipeout 64 was the game to play. That makes sense. Well, you still have bullets in this, at least. Yeah, mo yeah, yeah, most British people ignored this and played Wipeout. Okay. Yeah, I knew Wipeout was huge over there, being from Psygnosis and all. People looked at that and said, oh shit, the guys who made Shadow of the Beast. I hated that game. Let's buy it. Another very nice and colorful game. In 64 games, I typically think of as being kind of dark and drab. Yeah, this is... Kind of blurry. This is really nice looking for the system. It is. I can see why Acclaim uh, had a big head start on N64. This is good, but it's no football. I wish I was playing football. I'm sorry it's not football, honey. Not everything can be football. We don't live in a utopia. I'm just sitting here in my fancy future car, daydreaming about John Madden. Like the game or the man? The man. Okay. He was still alive back then, you know? You know, ten years ago, we had Jod Men, Steve Jobs, and uh, Bill Cash. I forget how that joke goes. Johnny Cash. <laughs> Bill Cash! Yeah. Years later, I don't remember the content of jokes. I remember their structure, but none of the important parts that make them funny. Anyway, next game. Forsaken for N64. 
Guess what it's called on N64? It's called Forsaken 64. I think we played this in a previous stream, maybe the PS1 version? Possibly? The future is Forsaken. <laughs> Thank you, Ultimo. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Oh, Iguana Entertainment, here we go. We're back where we belong. So we're gonna see a lot of Polygonal Acclaim logos and a lot of big buff iguanas tonight. I hope y'all are, uh... No, I'm pretty sure the crowd here will appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, no, I thank you. Oh, this is Iguana Entertainment UK? That's right, they had a UK Perfect. branch. Oh, this has buff iguana and Polygonal Acclaim logo. I like this music. Like, a lot. This is good. Yeah, it's cool. Oh no, is this a Six Degrees of Freedom game? Get ready to throw up. Sorry, honey. Oh, fancy logo. Looks good. This game is hard to look at. Cool. I love games that are hard to look at. That's all I play. Look Is that her name? I, I guess so. Yeah, very odd to see an in-game advertisement for the strategy guide. I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> yeah, before the game even starts. Yeah, they're like, hey, do you want this? Uh, you you're gonna this? you're gonna get stuck in this piece of shit. You better you're gonna need some help. The game begins. There is carnage ahead. And for the victor, there is honor and the spoils of battle. It's the Duke Nukem. For the vanquished, there is pain and humiliation. Failure is not an option for the Forsaken. Oh, wow. What an opening. That was good. What's with the porno music? Are you watching the drum and bass porno or something? I, I watch I watch robot porn. I was gonna say. Where are bullets? None of these buttons. Okay, here we go. It's the Z button. Now I can shoot. All right, so you accelerate with A. You can shoot. You can go around and do things. There's many different places you can see. Can you do? Can you do flips and stuff? Can you barrel roll? You can strafe. You can go up and down and left and right. You can yaw, but not pitch. You gotta have pitch and yaw. Yeah, this seems to be one of those, you know those compilations of like, you know, video game music, calm, relaxing? They need one that's like video game music, stressful, bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, this isn't bad, but it's, it's definitely stressful. I like you know that. this shit is gonna get copyright claimed on YouTube for being library music. Ugh, it always is. What was the fucking... There was some stream that I uploaded the other day that had that attached. What was the one that went up today, actually? Yeah, the XS Games games. Mm. Uh, the, the title music for their shitty baseball and dodgeball games was library music that we have to share the uh, revenue with on oh YouTube. Oh my god. So that's nice. We met a new uh, revenue sharing partner through it. And isn't it all about friends? I love it when someone faceless gets my money. <laughs> well, at least, sh you know, sh you know what they say, sharing is caring. That's true. This seems okay. It's yeah. very fluid and fast. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this fluid. In 64 games, I think of as, as having chunky frame rates, but somehow they made this run really well on N64. Oh, it's an arena combat thing. You gotta kill all the enemies, I just realized. Okay, I was looking for an exit, but... <laughs> Robot. Porno. Alex, I think oh, I Oh yeah, like the this. Forsaken... I remember the Forsaken cover. With oh the lady. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I never played it, because it looked like shit. <laughs> if I knew that was this... No, and it was this kind of game, I would have been into it, because I like the scent lights. Everyone loves that cover, though. Why? She's crying! Yeah, she's got a cool tattoo. That's why she's crying. It still hurts. She just got it. Oh man. Well, 
I like this. I could play more of this. Maybe I want to play like the PC version, if anything, but Maybe. Forsaken 64, not bad. All right, folks, your time has come. The reason you're watching this stream, we're going to play it right now. Get ready for Iggy's Wrecking Balls. <laughs> wow, this is a four megabit game. They cheaped out on this one. Iggy's Reckon Balls. Of course it's by Iguana Entertainment, like all good, good things are. Good. Now with this one, they wanted to make something a little wacky, something a little more kid-friendly, maybe. Seraphis Kane, I'm so... Oh my god. Uh-huh. I was just gonna say, Seraphis Kane knew someone who got the Forsaken logo tattooed on their arm. Whoa, cool. That's sick. Start training options. So, is Iggy the iguana from uh, Iguana Entertainment? I think he just took over their logo for this game. I don't think he has anything to do with the iguana. Let's be Iggy. Thank you, Sass, for the 100 bits. I have to regain my tail where I wanted to try out an N64, so on weekend my parents were kind enough and rented an N64 from Blockbuster that didn't have Mario, but what they did have is Iggy's Red Balls. <laughs> Needless to say, it didn't convince me to want an N64. Somehow it didn't convince you to buy an N64. Not Mario, but, but Iggy. Iggy's Wrecking Balls. All right, well, Sass knows how to play this, but for everyone else, this is a game where you're racing, and, like, you have a little extendo arm to help you out, and that's it. You just run to the right and jump, and you use your extendo arm to get to the end before the other guys do. Somehow we only got third place for that. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> this is a strange game. It's most like, um, Uniracers for Super Nintendo, except not nearly as fast. Yeah, Scepter kind of sucks. Sorry. Well, the first level is... Hang on. We're, we're still on easy street. Okay. Three, two, one, go! I will say the grappling hook, you can shoot it in any direction. So that's pretty interesting. You can go through the floors and stuff. I like that, yeah. I guess you could say this is a competitive platformer. As weird as that is to think... Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. These wrecking balls are twisted. I guess the way you go faster is through uh, proper grapples, but I'm not so good at this game. Maybe I can win this one. Victory for the big kahuna! <laughs> that sounded like a South Park character. That's that's. <laughs> hey, wow! I'm your new friend. I can't do that. You're right. That is really South Park. Hey, everybody! I'm Cartman's new persona. What did what? We blew up the whole level! We blew it up! And our friends, we blew them up too! <laughs> I don't know if they're your friends anymore. Oh. There's a clown in there. Good. Alright, we're tied for first. Let's keep going. Alright, go Danny, go. Because this is a circuit-based racing game. I haven't played a racing game that's quite like this, other than, like I said, Uniracers, but... Even that, <laughs> you can't really compare the two. Oh, here we go. Oh, hell yeah. Look at you we go. We got loops. We got double loops. We got triple loops. I literally don't understand how these other characters are pulling ahead of me. <laughs> it doesn't feel like there's anything I can do to go faster. But then I'm no, I'm no uh, Wrecking Balls champion. Yeah, you're just a Wrecking Balls neophyte. Some people make the balls, some people wreck the balls. You know? Yeah, it's just the duality of humanity. It's the circle of life. Mm -hmm. oh, I, did a, I did a double grab there. Hey, third place. Out of four. Sorry, honey. Not great. I think Iggy's going to take home the trophy. Sorry, Iggy. One more race. Okay. Because this is a game everyone wanted to see. Yeah, there's a... Jump at in .com. <laughs> one, two, one, go. Iggy, you are very mysterious. 
Oh, I see. You could do Street Fighter moves on the other characters to make them go slower. That's a lap? Also, the fact that you get teleported to the beginning of the laps instead of it being a contiguous racetrack is kind of... I am number one! I guess that's Iggy. Iggy does things his way. He looks kind of exhausted and in pain. Good. Is that the final okay, race of the circuit? Alright, one more. There's also a big storyline to this in the manual about destroying the, the Tower of the Balls or whatever. I read some of it. Yeah, I don't know. Why would you destroy the Tower of the Balls? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Okay, that's pretty fun. I wonder if there's a modern-day speedrunning community for this. Or a competitive community a la Yoshi's Cookie. Yeah, any ball freaks out there? Yeah, who loves balls out there? Any ball freaks out there? Listen! Come on. We're running a healthy Christian show here. Victory for the big kahuna! Victory for the big kahuna! Jesus! Is this, this whole thing's a Jesus allegory. I... Bam! Danny, don't use Pastor our stream! <laughs> I'm just saying who the original Wrecking Ball was. <laughs> Iggy is wrecking the Tower of Babel. Okay, great. Yeah. Great things are happening in our chat. Iggy's flipping over all the tables. God, this is close. Is there another is there another round? Can I pull this off? Let's pull this off. Okay, let's let Danny pull this off. Alright, Danny, go. Can't grapple through that. What a weird game. I can't, this is just so strange. It's not immediately apparent how to get good at it either, so it has that kind of mystique to it. And the whole art style is just kind of, you know, it, it looks like this. It's, it's, I wouldn't call it good, but it's, it's serviceable. It's unique. Mm-hmm. It makes an impression. For some reason, I always get this game mixed up with Eggs of Steel. I'll probably still make that mistake after this stream. Except those are eggs, not balls. Yeah, I was gonna say! Eggs are a kind of ball. That's true. How am I in fourth place?! This is easy street! Okay, not bad. Okay, go Iggy. Let's see if we won this one. So I'm gonna point something out right now. Uh, Midway, they released literally more than a dozen racing games over their time on N64. This is the last racing game we're gonna see from Acclaim. <laughs> I think there's like, uh, well there's, there's one licensed one coming up, but otherwise, I think this is the last pseudo racing game you're gonna see it keeps going too let's just say that iggy won uh he's won. he's the best ball of them all but we're not yet done with iggy because there is yet more to the iggy lore iggy was released in japan as iggy kun no buddha buddha poyong so let's play that for a little bit Got a new font. Oh, fancy. So are there any like regional differences? Well, let's find out. Okay. There's Iggy. He looks nice. a little different now. He's got bigger anime eyes. He does. His eyes are bigger. Yeah, they changed the characters in this game to be more anime like. <laughs> I prefer it. Yeah, I guess the, the original, the inspiration... Oh, this is so much better! The inspiration was more along the lines of, say, uh, Mad Balls or something, but here, it's just... I like Mr. Teeth. Mr. Teeth is good. Everyone looks a little less threatening. They're more... They're happier to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I like this uh, user interface, too. It even got a dub. Mm-hmm. 
some money went into this for some reason. As for the actual game itself, Two, one, it's still Iggy's Wrecking Balls. It's Iggy. Let's see if I can get first place here for old time's sake. We're switching to an all Iggy's Wrecking Ball format starting next week, so... Okay. I think that'll do well for us. I think so, too. People have been demanding that for years. Certainly that was first. It was, because we get to destroy yes. the whole place. Yes! Good. And that is the saga of Iggy's Wrecking Balls. I wish I could tell you that there was a sequel, that it was remade, that it's an ongoing franchise and concern. But no, it's not. There was just one Iggy. And he sure did wreck those balls. R.I.P. Balls, wrecked by Iggy. Next game. Speaking of balls... Danny. NBA Jam 99. Basketballs, that is. Oh, I, oh. I said that out of order. Pretend I said it in the right order. Oh, this is NBA Jam, but not as you know it. Midway developed the original arcade versions, and then somehow... Whoa! Look at that face! <laughs> and then somehow Acclaim got the rights to that and forced Midway to make their sequels under the NBA Showtime label. What a face! Everyone, look! Look! Meanwhile, Acclaim made their own NBA Jam games with uh, Iguana. Yeah, total pog. Alright, I'll play as the Bulls. Never actually seen what this... Oh my god! What did they do to NBA Jam? It's fine! The ball slipped right out of his hand! Wow! What a move! He takes the shot, and it jumps off the front of the rim. Is this more of Albert too? No, I think it's someone else. Great timing on that pass! Yeah, I have no clue who this is. Sounds a little bit like him. Did they just have the Marv Albert license in addition to the NBA and NFL license? He just rolled the ball. I see. Where's the turbo button? Oh, I bet it's... I bet it's... It's Z. Yeah, it's Z. It's totally Z. Also, you seeing something else that's not quite uh, traditional NBA Jam here? I'm seeing an awful lot of players here on the court. Yeah, what the hell? You really turn NBA Jam into a five-on-five -five game? A quick toss. He made it. Hey. What's next? You gonna take out the on-fire mechanic? Wait, are you Chicago or Utah? I'm Chicago. <laughs> oh, oh, Utah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll catch up. Don't worry. Ah, this was uh, Iguana of Salt Lake City, huh? Okay. Oh, I see. Wrong Iguana. Wrong Iguana. That's the first team foul of the ball game. Why would you not make it two-on-two two in arcade style? Why would you turn this into a Sim-style game? I guess it's still pretty simplified, but... There's a lot more to keep track of on the court. Okay, Marv, didn't need to know that much detailing the, the announcing booth. He throws the ball to his teammate, who receives it. Ah, uh, same company that did NBA Jam Extreme, okay. Oh, that game sucks! Yeah. That game super sucks. No wonder this game blows. It's so slow and stodgy. He takes the feet away. No one's jumping 20 feet in the air and doing mega dunks. I guess that was a mega dunk. The guy just jumped right in my face. Can I do a monster dunk? Can you? Horrible shot. My guy doesn't even have a name. His name is R Guard. <laughs> You don't get one, sorry, honey. <laughs> rear guard, bring it up the rear, strangely. And he'll toss the ball in. Pass it back to Rodman. He knows what he's doing. He throws up for a shot. He is a ruthless defender. In your face. He is a ruthless defender. Here's a foul. The ref should just put the whistle. I'm sorry, a foul? Foul committed by Sorry, honey. Longley. You don't foul in NBA Jam. The only foul is goaltending. I just grabbed for the ball, and they were like, oh, don't like that. Well, this is NBA Jam Utah style, okay? <sighs> Get me the hell out of Utah. Jeez. 
back to the realm of football, where things are as they should be with NFL quarterback Club 99. How did they fuck up NBA Jam? That's like the simplest game in the universe. Sorry, honey. There's just... <laughs> Guys. We got, we got a licensed track from Fluke. Any Fluke fans out there? I've never fucking heard of Fluke. Fluke, Fluke, Fluke. I know of the movie with the dog. That's Fletch. No. Wait, wait, Fletch is something else. No, no, Fletch is something else. Oh, he tackled the iguana. Yeah, Fletch is Chevy Chase, but it yeah, could there be, you go. It could be Chevy Chase as a dog. The resolution on this is impressive, but again, the detail is just kind of not there. I guess for N64, you had a choice between resolution or polygonal detail. That's something they fixed later on with the expansion pack, sort of. Oh no, why am I in the center of all these football men? I was going to say, what's going what on? What are they going to do to me? Like, a hundred football guys are going to kick my ass. Absurd. Written, performed, and produced by Fluke. Thank you, Fluke. Oh, this is expansion pack powered. What the hell? This seems pretty early for expansion pack, but... Well, there you go. Fine, we'll be Green Bay. Why did they pick the Broncos again? Are they doing this to piss me off? Yeah. Wait, I got nothing against the Broncos. I'm thinking of the Patriots. I was going to say, why are you always hating on the Broncos this stream? Because they're trying to shove the Broncos down my throat. And I don't appreciate it. Your anti-Bronco lifestyle? I just... I just they're don't like... The kick. <laughs> I just don't like other people's opinions being forced on me. You anti-horse? Horses are fine. I got no beef with horses. Don't try to start no beef with horses. Horses are very powerful. They can kill you. He's hit hard and tackled at the 33-yard line. Yeah, Hello. why do you hate John Elway? Oh, boy, here we go. The John Elway hater has arrived. Oh, you're too good for John Elway. <laughs> Ball on the 33-yard line. Don't start beef with horses. They can trample you. So good football players. But they're nice enough not to, so you don't have to worry. Oh, I was hoping they wouldn't notice I had a guy sneaking around. <laughs> That never works in these games. It was something that only worked in Madden 93. You could go around and hassle the other team before every play. Like, they shouldn't do it, and they don't do it, but football players would be really good at trampling. Oh, yeah. They could just... Man. Dotson and Davis. See that late hit? I'm just imagining an entire football team just storming a Best Buy on... Black Second Friday. <laughs> hut, 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 they say, just throwing shit to each other. They'd get all those cheap TVs. Aisles. Yeah. Hut. Holiday's thinking of going home. Hut. Hut. I think this looks better than the last one if the frame rate took a little bit of a dive. But that's the price you pay for high quality football. Mm -hmm. Alex, I have good news. Yeah. Acclaim is not just invested in the worlds of baseball and football, but also hockey. Oh. 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 <laughs> so let's play NHL Breakaway 98. This one's entirely new to me. I didn't even know they did a hockey game for N64. What? <laughs> You're this bootleg too, Unlimited? Yes, this is so bootleg. Got the FBI get on it sample. Are you all prepared for the forthcoming event? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Too cheap to license to unlimited. You I had love to this. No way. I love fake. You had I love to get on it. <laughs> you had to do the unlicensed knockoff for infinity. <laughs> All right, let's see how hockey from Acclaim is. Oh, 
Thank you, Carmen, for the bits. We are not ready for this. I am not. Tonight's matchup hits the visiting Philadelphia Flyers against our hometown Detroit Red Wings. Did I forget to wear my glasses to the hockey game? I was going to say, it's a little, uh, hmm. Oh, I hope they play the whole anthem. Me too. There's no way this can be better than Wayne Gretzky's 3D hockey. But if it has the whole anthem, then it has that at least. He looks so bored. That guy's pissed. That's me. <laughs> that guy's pissed that he has to listen to the anthem. They're doing it. Everybody's thinking about how patriotic they are. I if that goalie is still raging out. Yeah, he is. Guy can't stay still. We need a new national anthem. What should it be? Something short, like 30 seconds. Okay. It's like maybe a punk song or something. Maybe how? it could be like an interlude on a rap album. I don't know. Just how about short. the theme song from the PS2 game, Gift? Okay. So just a bunch of like, yeah! Yeah, just screaming. a bunch of samples. Yeah, it works. That or works. The, the bootleg 2 Unlimited theme from this Yes, game. yes, that's it. Get on it. Imagine if all you had to say, sing during the national anthem was just get on it. I would love that. Well, Midway had Wayne Gretzky's 3D hockey. That went into the stands! Good how, job. How often does that happen? Someone's dead now. Cool. <laughs> the, the divider was not high enough. Yeah, Midway had Wayne Gretzky. Uh, EA, of course, had the NHL series. I don't think that was on N64, was it? Yeah, yeah, make the Family Guy theme the uh, national anthem. <laughs> Oh, uh, settle a dispute we had before the show. What's the show that had a joke about the uh, the WB Frog singing about shows that you'd never see? Yeah, yeah, I know. We I can't know remember what show in chat it is. Must know this. We were thinking. Alex said it was Family Guy. The I, Simpsons. It okay. was. It was the Simpsons. Okay, okay I knew right. someone knew it. Okay. Because I think of that thing. Uh, Danny's Firefox updated, and it said, "Look what's new," or whatever. I was like, I don't fucking care. I'm about the stream. Shut up. Yeah, and every time I get a little like. Check out what's new pop up. I think of, uh, you know, the shitty show that no one's going <laughs> A bunch see. of shit you're not gonna see. It was Simpsons. Okay, good, good. Glad we could clear that up. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's, that's hockey. You can play some hockey on N64 if you want. It's Iguana branded. Detroit's in it. Oh, can't we go back to hockey? No! <laughs> we gotta do it! Alex, our next game is the first of several entries in an extremely popular and extremely profitable franchise that acclaimed licensed during this era. Turok? South Park. Oh. Anyone play the South Park N64 game? I sure did. I rented that shit when it was new. Did you? Yeah. Cool. Gonna see a lot of South Park tonight. Nice. Expansion packed enhanced. <laughs> I forgot that. You're gonna laugh when you see the actual game, and you're gonna be like, "What's the expansion pack enhancing?" Did it want to do this? They did. Oh my god! They didn't just do this. What do you think it's for? <laughs> what the? <laughs> In fact, the iguana killed Kenny. Stop right here. Ah, uh, you bastard! Oh my god! Kenny. Here come the rats. There's the rats to eat his body. I can't believe the iguana would would uh, would do that. That's the first sign of aggression we've seen from the iguana. <laughs> Usually they're pretty chill. Oh man, Primus is gonna sue us. That's fine. Or maybe this is so low quality it can't uh, detect it. I'd say I could turn it down if you need. Eh, whatever. They did the intro. You got to give them credit for that. What would this be like, season two or three or something? 
like right when the show kicked off. Mm-hmm. When all you knew that it was From just a bunch of rude little of kids. Space, a horror approaches. Once in a great while, the Is malevolent forces of the universe combine to form a force of evil so concentrated, so pure, that no bastion of goodness and decency can stand against it. Is the show still going? The uh huh. Toward its destination. They've had the original. Planet, they've had episodes about COVID. The town to be they've had episodes. South they've had Park, multiple Colorado. specials about COVID. A quaint little town <laughs> nestled in the peaks of the Yeah, Rocky no, Mountains. it's all on. Where better to terrorize <laughs> good and Paramount decent Plus? folk? I don't know. One of those yeah, is at HBO. Right. I don't. There's too many services. It's on one of them. So South Park was this animated show that was on Comedy Central, and it took over the fucking world. This shit was so popular. And everyone on the internet talked like a fucking South Park character for like 10 years. It was horrible. Yeah! That's why you see so much edginess in early 2000s writing everywhere. Hey, was happening? South Somebody Park's influence. <laughs> among other things. Among Who should we be? Told me I was cool. Let's be Cartman. You will respect my authority! Oh, I remember that? Yeah. Ah, that was a long time ago. Okay, Paramount Plus is the South Park specials, but Max has a South Park episode. It's normal. It's gonna cross paths with the Earth, and when they got original voice acting for this game. Spooky stuff is gonna happen. Spooky like how? Spooky like you better get your asses indoors, children. I'm not kidding. Our lives are in danger. What the hell is that about? Man, Chef is weird. This is a really high effort game. And then you actually see what it looks like, and, uh... Yeah, guess oh, what? Oh, this is bad! Guess what? It's Turok Dinosaur Hunter, but with the South Park kids and turkeys. That's literally all it is. This is the most simple first-person shooter I have ever played. And magazines loved it at the time. EGM gave this shit nines and eights. What? They were like, oh my god, it's like fucking Galaga was a first-person shooter. There's all these waves of enemies. It's so intense. I, really? That that is an opinion you can have. It is it is wave based <laughs> FPS action, which I think is it's kind of unique, I guess. But there's not really anything I would say to try to defend this game, <laughs> other than the fact it really nails the aesthetic. Are there a lot of turkeys in Colorado? I don't know. I've never been to Colorado. Coloradans speak out. I right, want to you, hear from you. How do you do the thing? There's a thing you can do to have a powered up snowball. Does anyone remember how to how to do that? D-pad. Oh yeah, here we go. Is that a pee ball? Hey, yeah. You can throw pee snowballs. It takes a little while longer to uh, to make them, but they do more damage. Hey Kyle, I got a surprise for you. I'll get you for that. <laughs> hey, so are you? Oh, you are Cartman. Okay. Are you Cartman? Yeah. Okay. Where are you guys? Damn it! You've got way too much urine in your system. Hey, he, stupid! I'm over he, here. You he drink a lot of Pepsi. Hey, yeah, so you collect all the here, kids. I think you can switch between them, right? Maybe, maybe not. There's not a new way to switch between them. Stop it's like peeing! It's like Galaga, man. It's like the most intense FPS you've ever played. On crack. On crack! We used to say things were on crack a lot. Yeah. I don't say that as much anymore. None of us were ever on crack. We were just no, talking we out of just, our asses. It, it, it was, yeah. We were just having Joss to soda. Uh, thank you, Simon. 100 bit uh, donation. Thank you. I can't believe Carmen has infinite piss, just like the postal guy. Yeah, lot in common. Look at all these piss field goals I'm getting. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if this game's making me laugh, then I'm a South Park fan after all. Oh, the Whoa, postal wait. guy does run out of piss? Okay. You do run out of piss? You, in postal, maybe. Oh, okay. Not in this game. It does, I don't think you can in this game. Well, I think we know what the better game is. It's true. I think this was also out on PlayStation, which I didn't play, but for as simple as this is, I bet this had a lot of sales, because they made many sequels to this that we're going to see in a little bit. 
Good news, the sequels are nothing like this game. I gotta ask, Danny, have you ever been to a run fair? I have not. Are there a lot of turkeys there? Turkey legs? Oh! Oh my god, is that why they're revolting? Maybe. Is South Park clever enough for that? <laughs> I don't know! Man, remember the early 2000s. You're on the pick. <laughs> That's the kind of humor we enjoyed in the 2000s. You dirty tree hugging hippie! Instead of bothering to come up with jokes, we just call your mom a bitch. Mm -hmm. It works. It works really well, actually. Thank you, Carmen, for the 100 bits. Yeah, the uh, PS1 port apparently is much, much worse, so that's great. Alex, look at the radar. Oh! Maybe they were right about this being Galaga, but with turkeys. <laughs> Jesus! Like one of those doom rooms where all the walls open up and a bunch of fucking revenants pop out or some shit. I've been going to run. F I was. I. I've been to so many run fairs and I cannot believe that there are people online who are surprised that it is horny. Like, literally half the point of run fairs is people walking around doing dick jokes. It's, it's what it is. Run fair is horny. Yeah. Can you believe that? What the? I know. It's crazy. I refuse to engage in any discourse, but I will engage. Um, fuck. I will engage with this video game's uh, piss balls. South Park, it's got piss balls. It's got piss balls. Oh god, the splashing animation. <laughs> I'm gonna suck you up. I've only been to the LA County Run Fair, which I don't know if that's like special or anything, but it was it was fun. <laughs> It's South Park for N64. Yeah. A first-person shooter for some reason. A very popular one. Good news, we're going to see more South Park in the future. Oh, thank God. All right, it's time to bring back someone to bring a little, uh, little bit of class back to the establishment after we lowered our standards with the last game. The man, the hero, the myth himself. Potential star of next <laughs> of Sony's next big, big budget game. Turok. It's Turok 2. Seeds of evil. Fucking Disney tried to bring back Turok last time around. That's why he's buried forever. Okay, are they gonna do it again? I don't know. Disney like, does that shit every so often, so maybe. I know that they killed their video game division, but do you think they're gonna do like a Turok special on Disney Plus where Turok has a panic attack? <laughs> <laughs> Love the scene in the new Turok movie where uh, Turok has a realistic panic attack. You know that scene's not actually in the Mario movie, right? No, it's not! <laughs> some, some jackass just made it up. I haven't even seen the Mario movie, but I know it's not in it. I hate being fooled by the internet. It makes me mad. Oh, uh -oh. no! The Iguana Turok? gets his comeuppance after killing Kenny. Yes, that was that was the actual funny thing. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my God, never mind. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is sick. All right, we've already gone off the rails. Wow, he's shooting us to death. Thanks for buying my oh, game, asshole. Oh my god. <laughs> I look like this. That's what I look like when I play Fortnite. Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. Let's play. I don't think I rented this one. I don't think I played this one even. Uh... I think we missed something. <laughs> I love Star Wars. It's no longer just some guy hunting dinosaurs with a bow and arrow. I gotta admit, I didn't keep up with the comic series, so... I was a more of a Magnus robot fighter kind of guy. No, you Greetings, to you. Were you? I was more of an Archer and Armstrong fan. Okay, that I can believe. The lost land known as the Lazarus Concordance 
have charged me with the task of guiding you on your quest Solar Man of the Atom. You hear what he did in space? The Primogen seeks to destroy the five what energy did he titans do? that keep him imprisoned within the wreckage of his Setting off the events of Deathmate. If he succeeds in destroying all five energy totems, he will be Tell me more! Well, Alex. Uh-huh. Destroy your universe. Watch whatever episode I talked about Solar fucking lady in space and setting off a across universe crossover. I'm sure I mentioned that like a month ago. Yeah, no, you did. I, I just want to know more about it. You can't skip this intro, by the way. Cool. The port of Adia. Bought this used and it had dried fruit roll-ups on the connectors. Well, that's to keep it safe. That's cool. That's like putting wax over it. It's just a good idea. Yeah, and bonus snack. In the hills surrounding oh yeah, Turok was big, uh, it was big business in the 90s. It was Valiant's flagship the franchise. I don't remember ever reading hundreds. the comics, but my, my parents were dangerous. big into comics for Though like they collectible the reasons, bidding, they, they bought the Turok. So. We, have, we had some Turok number to one. Oh comic, yeah, that number one comic. It was just that big chromium cover that lured in all the, all the collectors. Activate but you look that up on eBay right buildings. now, it's like two dollars. <laughs> it's no Lady Rescue Death. Four children. I don't like the, the crying children. Quarters. Was I supposed to be paying attention to this? Something about Locate crying children? Locate the energy totem and defend it at all costs. Guys, if you wanted me to pay attention, you'd have subtitles. I actually agree! No. Who's? Oh no! They killed Mary. Or he was a good man. Okay, they're dead. No. <laughs> he was a good man too. <laughs> wow! This game starts off with explosions that just tank the frame rate. Controls are still the same. Use the face buttons. It still does that thing where it snaps back to center after you look. That's so strange. I don't like that. Can you find more dead bodies to look at? <laughs> and mourn, yeah. Mourn five bodies to continue. They should let you do that. They should let you mourn. Press F to play Turok Respects. I know that they have mourning in the Call of Duty or whatever, but I want mourning in more video games. I want to be able to, like... Yeah, it should be a core mechanic, like, on the face buttons. Button yeah. A, shoot. Button B, jump. Button C, mourn. Yeah, again, F. F to pay respects, you know. F for funeral. <laughs> F for funeral. You know how there's, like... No, this game must exist. There has to be a funeral planning simulator out there, right? <laughs> What? I know that there it's that's got to be some itchio thing, right? Like an RPG about coping with death where you plan people's funerals or something. That's got to exist. Those are just platformers. They turn that into platforming. Okay, that's a platformer where you're just mourning death of of, of whatever. Okay. Did they really design a first area where I can't figure out where to go? Because that's pretty cool. <laughs> there was a six feet under Nintendo DS game. That's sick. Really? <laughs> It was a House MD Nintendo DS game. You made it up! I hate that! I believe it. It sounded... I, I want... Here's the thing. I didn't think it sounded real, but I wanted it to be real so bad. There's an unlit switch in that hole in the wall. An unlit switch in that hole in the wall. All right. That is what you... Oh. You did something. I found a ladder. Cool. Oh, good. Now we can have a... We can power our flashlight. Yeah, I was going to say, if there was a Six Feet Under game, it would have been a hidden object game, because that's what all the weird properties got for a while. I feel like I'm a rat just scampering around. Okay, there is a game just called My Funeral Home. Good, okay. <laughs> My Funeral Home. You don't want to design the world's worst funeral home, Danny? I haven't felt the urge. Oh! Wow. That's not a dinosaur, that's a sexy lizard man. Very different. 
eventually you stop fighting dinosaurs and start fighting human dinosaur hybrids, I think. Uh, of course. Typical. Typical, trying to make me kill my furry friend. How <laughs> dare you? Look at this action presented in silhouette. This is art. Do I have a gun? I do have a gun. I have several guns. Why are you using your stupid... Whatever. Wait, is this a flare gun? Mm -hmm. Give me my bow. Bows never let me down. Oh, those are explosive barrels. They're not red. C cool. That's why I was fooled. So a claims <laughs> trademark FPS series evolves in this game. It's definitely more detailed. The lighting is more moody. I can't say as to whether it's a better game, though. I just want to know if they kept the same infamous uh, <laughs> emphasis on platforming, because I'm not sure anyone liked that. Who's shooting me? Yeah, who is shooting you? Who's shooting Voodoo FX lighting at me? Hey! You know, I wondered if anybody named their kid Turok after the campaign. I think they did. Would you name your kid Turok? Uh, depends on how much money they gave me. Uh, $50,000. That's more than enough. Okay. I'm Turok now. Knowing the claim, they probably never paid those parents. Yeah, that's how I felt. <laughs> you named your kid Turok, and then the company went under. You're stuck with some shitty kid named Turok. Um, that kid had to have changed their name later, right? Like, uh, you can't... You can't be named Turok, man. One guy was. And he's the greatest hero we've ever known. He's the star of the next Sony first party game for PS5. No, he's not. Don't don't get your hopes up. This just quick ass shit out of here. Fuck this. <laughs> Next game. Turok 2 was a big hit. A lot of people liked it. It is not for me. I'm not an FPS gamer. However, what may be more to my speed is the Japanese version of Turok 2. Let's check this out very quickly. I like the name. Mm-hmm. Has a cool logo. That's probably all we're gonna see, because otherwise it's identical, but uh Japan Turok 2 went by a different name. And as soon as we get past these <laughs> these legal screens, we're going to find out what it is. Oh good, they kept the Iguana logo. Violence Killer Turok New Generation. That's such a good name. That's how you get me to buy your sequel. You call it Violence Killer. That's almost as good as Violence Fight. That's a really good name. They got a weird uh, eyeball in the logo, too. And, like, part of it's brass knuckles. God, that's badass. Oh, yeah! That's kind of sick. Well, that was fun. Yeah, yeah. Danny did mention that Disney tried to do something with that. I can't believe they brought back Touchstone for video games. And then they're like, no, <laughs> we can't. Our final acclaim game of 1998 is WWF Warzone. That's right, we're bringing the WWF into this. We got South Park, we got the NHL, we got NBA, and we got WWF. Thank you, Seraphis Kane, 100 bits. So that whole change your name to Turok contest was faked, uh-huh. Oh, was, was it? They're all hired by, uh, actors hired by Acclaim. That's not fair. I remember hearing that. Yeah, that is what happened. God, what a bunch of assholes. <laughs> Then they closed suddenly without telling their employees, and all their employees' valuables were still locked inside the studio when they sold it off to the highest bidder. So some, like, uh, horrible collector could buy your family photos for, like, a dollar. Yeah. That's cool. It's a really cool thing to do. Danny, if you were going through the offices of a company <laughs> that had just shut down... Hello, I'll be your waiter today. Oh, hello, Steve. 
Would you would you buy the family photos on people's desks or would you buy the uneaten sandwiches? I would buy all of them. I would just okay. put it all in a box together. Alex, who should we be? Um, you should be gold dust. All right. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, he is. Yeah, he looks great. Looking I, very textured. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I saw Dustin Rhodes. Uh, yeah. Last week, yeah. I went to a wrestling show, and uh, it was uh, Dustin Rhodes was there, and he was really good. Let's do it. Goldust is going to be champion. For over 50 years, the dominating force in professional wrestling. I'm Vince McMahon, and I'm good old JR. We have a great good old JR. Look at the size of Ahmed Chuck. He's one man you wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley. It's a big man. One of the biggest men on N64. Pretty big. Goldust loves to play head games with his opponents. You gotta keep your mind on the man when you're wrestling Goldust. Ooh, crowd oh, hates don't him. Boo Goldust, he's good. Goldust is not the crowd favorite. No. <laughs> this looks really ugly. It kinda does. N64 had a lot of famous and good wrestling games. Uh, none of them were made by acclaim. That was THQ's business. Wow, Goldust has a really, really good butt in this. Yeah. They went really far. Damn. What do you call a... Uh... Sorry. What do you call a rack but for a butt? Like you say I that... I don't know. Like you say someone has a nice rack. What if you want to compliment their butt? Caked up, thank you. Caked up, there you go. Caked up, caked up, yeah. Ooh, the turnaround punch. Chat, thank you. We're throwing each other he around. He got that gold dump. Okay. <laughs> All right. Gold dump. Gold dump. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no. I can't stop looking at it, dude. <laughs> it just, it's really good. It sticks funny. out. It really sticks out. Contingent of chat who says that Goldust looks like he shit himself, so that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to play this. Supposedly this, these games aren't too good, the acclaimed WWF games. Thank you for the 100 bits, Carmen. Yeah, they just took Laura Croft and, uh, and just took that model and just kind of switched the Z-axis a little bit <laughs> to get Goldust. Keep the butt. Everyone likes a good butt, they decided. Yeah, he should his pants his mind games, exactly. Oh, he's making good noises. The animations of this are okay. They really sell their punches and kicks. The gameplay feels a little slow and stilted. So with this, we're halfway through the Acclaim Entertainment Library. This is the end of 1998. 1998 was their most prolific year on N64. 1999 was almost as big, but had slightly fewer games. Mm. So right now, this is a claim at their biggest and best. They've been uh, emboldened by their success, and they're just going to keep crapping out games. Much like Goldust. <laughs> exactly. So let's do it. The year's 1999. It's time to party. With, yeah. Uh, All-Star Baseball 2000. Baseball's back, baby. Party. Surface Kane, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. <laughs> had a few. <laughs> Tried to give him CPR. Because oh, Goldust was kissing. I, 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 you know, that's, <laughs> they did that a lot with Goldust, where they were, where everyone was like, ah, Goldust, don't be gay with me. And Goldust was like, I'm gay, but am I? <laughs> Which is like. I wish they'd do that with baseball. <laughs> Some of the characters being like, I'm gay, or am I? That was a thing in the 90s, was is I'm gay, or am I? And I get why, but like... That plausible deniability. Mm -hmm. All-Star Baseball 2000. Sound like a German dance club out here on this baseball field. Twizzlers. I was gonna say, do you want some Twizzlers? No. Aw. Only you like that shit. I don't eat Twizzlers.
I just got Wheaton in. Thank you, K Plays, for the raid. We are uh, we are playing Acclaim Games on Nintendo 64. Hey, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Yeah, we're playing every game Acclaim released on N64, even those sports games. Last one of these we played had a bootleg 2 Unlimited theme song. Oh, it's got Home Run Derby. You have not missed Shadow Man, which I need to warn you. We're still it's coming up on game. Shadow Man. That is an adult game, so, so uh, yeah. children better clear out. Well, so far this is looking better than the first All-Star Baseball game. Oh, they're respectful now, instead of posing with their crotches from com conspicuously forward. That's much more respectful to America. Well, NHL is not as respectful as baseball. You know that. They had the full uh, anthem, though. Baseball, they cheaped out. They only out. had the full anthem so you could see more crotch shots like a bunch of pervs. All right, we're pitching. Okay. Thank you, Simon, so very much for donating five bucks. Retro Pals 2000. I missed the rest of that message, but thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying the baseball. Uh, fastball. The classic. Badly on that pitch. Yeah, what an asshole. Right two. Oh and two. Let's do a change up. Okay. Line drive to center. He makes oh, we nice. got it. Nice. Retro Pals 2000, the new Millennium Fun Twizzler. No. I'm just going to no. run away with the baseball. It's mine now. All right. He made good contact, but hit it right out of field. Now, next Classic game. mistake. Oh, I can't do that. All right, Tony. Ready for a little chin music? Will it work? He got that's yeah! Ooh. That's pretty sick. Oh, he's hurting. Uh, oh, you no. You really hurt him. We got to send this guy to the hospital. Oof. Now up, Sean Green. It's okay, I guess. It's a little more complex than the last All-Star Baseball, but also a little less fun. It does have good animations for hitting the guys, though. That's one of the most important things you can add to a baseball game. Breaking ball. Mrs. Lowe. All right. Uh, bean ball, go for the junk. Okay. Go for the junk? All right. You got it. He was way ahead of that pitch. Fastball to the junk. Doop. He got nailed. That had to hurt. Silently now, screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm fine. That felt good. I love it. <laughs> Next game. Alex, good news. We're back in the Valiant Fields of the Fields of Valiant Comics. That's what they call them, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the stream is melting my brain in record time. This is a Valiant license no one else bothered to pick up. You never saw any sequels to this one. This is Armarine's Project Swarm. You know what, Danny? I was deep in the weird comic book minds of the 90s, and I do not remember Armorines. That was one of the later Valiant comics, I think. Okay, then then I was... My mom was long out by then. It wasn't okay. part of the original lineup. So oh, I, not 90, no. Yeah, it's more of a latter-day okay. Valiant lineup thing. It's no XO Man of War. It's no, um... Gen 13. Wait, that's image. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Fake Valiant fan. We can be Tony Lewis. We can be Myra Lane. That's just Lady Robocop. All right, Lady Robocop it is. Okay. The human race has survived the most brutal threats to its fragile existence. Thanks for the situation update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Human race can always prevail. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go to Siberia. Keep an eye out for anything strange. Revenant, is that true? Did the Armorines really get referenced in Adele the Funky Homo Sapien verse? 
you you're wrong. Is, am I being? Fooled? I didn't know Dell was a Valiant fan. <laughs> a lot of people were. No, they weren't. That's why it folded. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the problem. All right. I'm well, guess what? This is Turok, but you're shooting alien bugs. So it's EDF. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Same controls with the face buttons and everything. Z button to shoot. It has this uh, Metroid Prime style auto aim, which is weird because Metroid Prime wasn't out yet. The devs at Retro Studios were obviously taking note. Also from Austin. I was gonna say, I. <laughs> the. Retro Studios is right by a bus stop I go to all the time, so I'm always in front of Retro Studios. Oh, you should go in and ask what's up with Metroid Prime 4. I bet yeah, they'll like, tell what's you. what's going on, folks? They, lo they, oh, they would love to see me, I bet. Like, yeah, I just got off from the bus stop, and I just want to ask you a bunch of questions about your games. Hey, why are you calling me? Hey there, the Rando Gamer are? here. Yeah, it's, 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 I bet, I bet game studios love when random gamers come in and ask questions. They're not terrified of that shit at all. Something I noticed about this game in testing, which I thought was like something on my end, but this is real hardware, so this can't be the case. This game has insane input lag. Uh, see if you can listen to when I push the button. Excuse me. What? And to when I move. Check this out. Hey. I'm able to push, release the button, and think to myself for a few precious seconds before I actually move. That's ridiculous. I think the South Park game was also horribly input lagged, but people didn't notice as much. Well, because it's like Galaga. Yeah, it's like the new Galaga, but with turkeys. I don't want to find no Dr. Delaney. I'm here to shoot space bugs. You gotta find Dr. Delaney. You gotta do your checkup. Oh, the controls of this are so bad because the input lag. <laughs> Don't play an FPS with horrible input lag. It's it's way worse than other genres. Except maybe platformers. Oh, we could we can cattle prod these things. Nice. Never mind, this game's good again. Well, it's got jumping, it's got aiming, and you can shoot things. This is a Turok like for sure. I don't think I can go through there. I said something about finding Dr. Delaney so I can go through this, but who yeah. needs him? I think we got this. Uh, rip. Boy. Done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a that's a pretty definitive ending right there. Our Marines, Project Swarm, a game where you shoot space bugs and explode. I guess so. Alright, we're heading back to a classic franchise with Bust Move 99. I like that they gave it a title like it's a fucking sports game. Yeah, I like that too. Bust Move All Star 99. Bust Move Extreme Jam 2000. <laughs> Developed by Distinctive Developments? Who is that? What a name! Distinctive Developments is like a Dollar General brand of soap or something. Yeah. How good are you? Well, we're distinctive. This one, I think, is Busta Move 3. Mm-hmm. Lots of good characters in this. All good. They kissed. And foot bumped. Wow, they're so in love. Oh, but they blew up. Oh, I they're like Sonic Blast Man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm marking out over Sonic Blast Man. You are. What is this fucking Warder Art logo? This that looks horrible. It's fine. Hope the grandma who made that got fired. Win contest. I want to win contest. You love that drunk lady. Mm-hmm. Time to win contest. Ready, 
Is that just what they call versus mode? Win contest? I guess. That's one way to put it. Does this, does this play meet your approval? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Where would you have put that last piece? Um... Up my butt. <laughs> That's not where it goes! Okay, sorry, sorry. Is she from a strip Mahjong game? I mean, she does give that vibe. Is she? She's a, okay, the, according to the Bus Move Wiki, she's a spoof of Strip Mahjong characters. Oh, I see. Wow, I sucked that pretty, one up. That's pretty funny. I lost. I'm not so good at Bus to Move 99. You know, these new rosters, you can't keep up with them. If I won, does it make you do a slide puzzle? That's not a win game, that's a punishment. Also! <laughs> I do that. <laughs> I love that art. I can see how she's a parody now. Mm -hmm. Well, it's Puzzle Bobble 3, only made by a developer you've never heard of, and published by Acclaim, given a horrible new logo. That's the Acclaim way. <laughs> Bust a move 99. Oh, man. Can they really make NBA Jam any better after the last one? This is NBA Jam 2000. NBA Jam 2000. Welcome, Epsilon Eagle. We are doing Acclaim games on the N64. Hey, glad you could catch us live. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we actually stream this shit. Can you believe it? NBA Jam 99. They turned it into a five-on-five -five game for some reason and added fouls. <laughs> so basically it's not NBA Jam at all. Luckily they made another one. Yeah, it should be 2,000 times better. Mm-hmm. Iguana not animated. That's one point uh, docked from it. It's a shame. Those are all the teams. Hideous. <laughs> this is this, this title screen is hideous. No way. I love it. It's really bad. It's like, it's just really distinctively bad. Jesus like Christ. It. Do you like the music, Danny? I'm sorry, there's a sim mode? And the jam mode? Why did you add a sim mode? This is like cartoon jams. I don't know. Let's check out jam mode. I like the uh, font. Yeah, it's very readable. Look at that. They picked the Spurs for me already. Isn't that nice? We're going to be David Robinson. Hell yeah. Teaming up with Tim Duncan. Spurs got the first draft pick. You hear that? They did? Yeah, they did. Oh, I'm so happy for the Spurs! There was footage from a bar in San Antonio where, like, they announced that everyone's uh, drinks would be free for the night if San Antonio somehow got the first draft pick. Oh, my God. And there's video of, like, when they announced it, and I've never heard a louder thing in my entire life. <laughs> just noise. Just a wall of noise oh. once it's announced. <laughs> All these drunk people just happy as shit. Oh, that rules. I'm so happy for San Antonio. Well, they have a mode that brings back the uh, two-on-two, and this is an accurate representation of the Alamo Dome. Does the Alamo Dome also have JPEG people in the audience? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. San Antonio is made up of uh, mostly JPEG people. Oh, cool. <laughs> I think he's hurt. Oh, these guys suck. Just tossing the ball everywhere. I smell smoke. Oh shit, the Alamo Dome's on fire! No! I like the screaming in the music. Reminds me of Gift. <laughs> well, the gameplay here is a little bit improved just by virtue of it being two on two again, but uh. With just the way they do it, the whole court feels a little empty without five players on every side. Yeah, a little bit. There's a lot of room to work with. The harsh bounce. Just the ball away. Comes up with it. Give me the ball. 
Oh, the backwards through the backboard dunk. They never see it coming. Whoa, hey, woof. We're, we're right in the action. Not a big misshapen men out here. I hit the back of the backboard. Really, people? Okay. This is back when David Robinson didn't know how to play. Apparently, once in the Alamo Dome, the fire deterrent system went off and just sprayed everyone with water. <laughs> cool. I wish that I, I... That's so good. Glad it was working. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, he's on fire. Here comes the replay. Bam. Um, with the dynamite. Alex just gave me a look. <laughs> I'm not allowed to make sports jokes. You, it's fine. It's fine. The Admiral, that's what they call him. Yeah, I'd also be liking, uh, I also wish we had some sweet men with us. <laughs> sweet men. Yeah, if you missed our Monday stream, go watch it. I've been uh, thinking about sweet men ever since Monday. <laughs> just stapling some candy together. Hey, do you like this? That's so sad. <laughs> Sorry to everyone who's had a European party. I'm sure your sweet men are delicious. Into the first quarter, live from the Alamo Dome. We're shutting this shit down. This is the last NBA Jam game we saw from Acclaim on N64. Uh, it going was, down in style. It was better than the last one, but why'd they do it like this? They changed it from a cool, over-the-top, digitized thing to a weird 3D, bad-feeling game. I think that was their mistake, making a bad-feeling game. Deciding that during pre-production, folks, this is going to be a bad-feeling game. You shouldn't do it. Choose good feeling. Also entering the new millennium in 1999, NFL Quarterback Club 2000. Strangely, about half of these games tonight are sports games. They really went all in on sports, even though they had no chance of winning against Madden. And their NBA jams were kind of fucked up. But I mean, at least they tried. That's the important part. Why is there so many Brett Favres? What? Do they only license one character? You are so anti-Packers. I'm saying they should have licensed more than one football guy. Oh no! Get him away from there. He heard what you said, and he's going. He's, 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 he's hitting stop stream on OBS. Yeah, he's fucking with OBS through uh, like <laughs> remote viewing or whatever. He's taking our stream key. No. He's hacking the system. Mm -hmm. Hacking the football matrix. He's pretty satisfied with himself. <laughs> He's really satisfied with I himself. I love his god complex. I love Brett Favre with the god complex. Yes, yes, four of me. Yeah, yeah! Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, he's saying right now. <laughs> Claim sports. God. So I, I think this was licensed and endorsed by Brett Favre. You think? Call it a hunch. Denver, huh? Okay. Who was on the team that put the Denver Broncos in the quick game <laughs> option on every single game in this series? You'd think it'd be the Packers, considering. Yeah. Guess what, folks? We got a football. And Holding up his arm, being like, hang away. on, there's football. Hang time, that's a different game. I was gonna say. Oh, this is a chunky frame rate. You could do little hops in this. Good return, and he gets the ball to the 23-yard line. <laughs> the announcer sounds sarcastic. Oh, that was a good run. First and ten, ball on the 23-yard line. Oh, the Bro I forgot that the Broncos won the Super Bowl. Okay, maybe that's why they're being featured. Oh, that would make sense. Or they were at the Super Bowl. I don't know. They they did something at the Super Bowl. They were super. <laughs> oh, what happened? 
You sweat to death. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. You sure did. You I, pressed banana peel. I, instead of the pass button, I hit the slide on your butt button. Classic Second move, but not what I wanted. Ball on the 13-yard line. All right, let's see if it's A. The defense showing blitz. I can't do anything. Why don't you, instead of sacking me, just let me live my life? Let Danny play. And not do a weird dance right in front of my face. All right, let's see the instant replay. Great like play. That. And he sacked back at the six-yard line. That was just a great individual effort to break through the line and take that quarterback down. Pure hustle. Pure hustle, Danny. Pure hustle. All right, shotgun. We're bringing out a shotgun on field. Okay, that should do it. Always works. There's a movie about that, right? Where a guy just <laughs> brings a, a, a shotgun onto the football field or whatever. Yes, Alex. Third cool. and long. Ball on the six-yard line. Ain't life a bitch. It's called Gunman. Yeah, that's what it's called. From the shotgun. Hut, hut. Throw it! Throw it! Throw it! Throw, 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 throw the ball! Oh, not like that! <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't listen to me say throw, throw, throw the ball. It's gun gun sweep! Gun sweep! Alright. What did I say? We can win now. We we found the gun button. It's fourth and twenty-seven, and it doesn't matter because we found the gun button. Looks like a blitz coming. I'll just go over here. I mean, if you guys want to play your own game, I'll just I'll just run. <laughs> did no one notice me? No, that's fine. Thank you, step aside 19. I did a cool 57 spin. month resub. 57 whole ass months. Thank That's so you. many freaking months. Thank you, step aside. Then I did have my slow run up the field. Hold on. And then everyone else finally noticed that I had the ball. Huh. You know what? You can say a lot about this game, but it's a football. It It is a football. Next up in 1999, thank God it's not another sports game. It's Revolt. See, there is another racing game. Okay. They did come back to it. This one is an RC car racing game. Where's the animation, guys? They, they gave up. They're we, done. We need a big, buff, badass lizard at the front of every game, or else what are we even doing? Do it. Do it. I'm that guy. I was gonna say, this is good. There's been some jams tonight. Yeah, this game's better known for its uh, PC version. There's also a, a Dreamcast port. I'll be the bandit. Toys in the hood! Come on, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. Ah, uh, this is another probe joint. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, it looks like they were using the Iguana lo logo on everything by 99. Fake Iguana game. Why would they do that? Who's the big fat RC car? You see that guy? The green one? Oh, yeah! Huh. That's a big boy. Well, this game is about racing RC cars, and it's got these little oversized environments that really sell it. Oh, this frame rate is not good. It's hard to see what's in front of me. I did play a lot of the PC demo. That was really fun. I found the look behind button. Oh, good. No! My car got exploded! No! I like that you can shortcut by hopping the sidewalks. The car did a fucking bicycle kick to get out of the way of my the gun I fired. 
They took all my stuff and left I, me in the gutter. Logan, I completely agree. Absolutely not enough games where you are small as shit. Yeah. More games should uh, play with perspective, in my opinion. Oh, that was Drum Candy said that. Well, I agree with both of you. I agree with everyone in chat. Games that do good things with perspective include, like, uh, Sin and Punishment, I thought, did it pretty well. Mm -hmm. And uh, the EDF games, of course. Sometimes you just want to feel like a little man in a big world. Yeah, I want to be a little creature, for God's sake. Yeah, come on, for fuck's sake. Shortcut. Oof. I'll never catch up to the fat slug. Sorry, honey. When did we stop describing things as being fat with a PH? Um, probably 2002, 2003. Yeah, that didn't last very long, did it? No, early 2000s, late 2000s, okay. 2002. I, th I think we described things as being tight for longer than we described them as being fat. That's true. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> oh, yeah! I think I broke it. The, the fucking antenna came off my car. It's dead. Uh, We're dead. We died. Oh, no. Man, we just got this thing from Walmart. No, it's already busted. Mom. I broke another one. Rip. Sorry. Let's go to Radio Shack. <laughs> That's Revolt. All right. All you fans of Valiant Comics, rise up. Cartman94, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. It looked a little revolting, didn't it? Ooh. Here's our next big hit from Valiant Comics brought to the N64. It's Shadow Man. Danny, what's your favorite Valiant comic? Archer and Armstrong. I can't okay. get enough of those guys. One of them's like a, a big slob who's like uh, invulnerable. He can never be killed. Uh -huh. And the other one is like a really tidy monk guy. They live like kind of like uh, the odd couple. So it was the odd couple, but they were like... Yeah. Murder guys? Yeah. Cool. And yeah, this one got a remaster recently, so some people like this. When did they stop animated, animating the iguana? Well, we know this, at the end of 1999. Mm -hmm. No, at the end of 1998. Huh. Well, um, oh. oh, oh, all right, Sh Shadow Man. I guess it was loading. I want a new adventure. Oh, yeah, they had the whole get Shadow Man carved into your tombstone. Uh, problem, <laughs> too. You could tell they were getting desperate at the end. The 9th of November, 18 Alex. By my yeah. deeds, I, known, and I, Jack. I can't see much. But it looks like we're in a sewer. We are. You're Jack the Ripper in a sewer. We're not even... We haven't even started the interactive portion of the program. And we're already in the sewer. The first thing the game does is dunk you in the damn sewer. So is Shadow Man Jack the Ripper? Oh, there's game video. You just can't see it. <laughs> a knife. This game's got voice acting. My name is Legion, for we are many. The immortal power that you seek does exist. It does indeed lie within... This has a really long intro. All right, strap in. Cool. Oh, Jack the Ripper is the villain? Okay. What are you that you can produce such things from thin air? Merely an explorer, much like yourself. What is it that you want from me? You are an architect by trade, are you not? I am. I would have you build a cathedral to fame, a place where you and I and others like us may join together. A place. Oh, we already got a lot of SM clubs around here. <laughs> I'll see the need for it. Yeah, very readable text here. <laughs> yeah. I bet it looks great on stream. Doesn't look that good on the TV. Hey, g gotta give him credit though. There's subtitles. And where might I build this cathedral of yours? Across the veil, in the 
darkness amongst the restless spirits of those who have passed beyond in the place known as Dead Side. Then, if I am to join you, I must die. It is prophecy. We cannot fail. For we are many. For we Guess you better kill me then, isn't it? Huh? Oh. Oh. Amen to that. Wow, what a badass. Cool. What are you in a swamp? Yeah, S Shadow Man takes place in the bayou. Really? Mm hmm. Okay. The comic is set in Louisiana. Oh, the tombstone was for Shadow Man 2? That's even funnier. I paused the game. Did I break it? <laughs> I just wanted to skip the cutscene. I hate this shit. In mysterious ways. And brother, sometimes she really does move me. Can't do nothing about it since, nice as you please, she knitted my ribs into the mask of shadows. That was nice of her. I've got nothing left anyways. My fault loops dead, and mom and pop too. It's catching you up on the first 20 issues. Mm -hmm. Every bad thing that comes my way. Can't live, can't die. Dead guys are perfect good for me. A nowhere place. The asshole of the universe. You can't say that on N64. Yes, you can. You can't Remember? describe something as the asshole of the universe. This game was rated M and had a warning on the front about how this game was for adults only. That's true. It does have the word asshole in it. Mm -hmm. All right, are. and we're playing. Good news, everybody. This is a 3D mascot platformer. Sick. You gotta rank this. We do. There's only... I did the math. There's only like half a dozen N64 games we haven't ranked for Mascot Friday. Oh, shit. So what do you think? Should we play this this Friday, or should we play Conquer? We gotta play Conquer someday. You know, chat <laughs> is... We could do both, but I guess we... They're both games for adults. No kids allowed. Yeah, we could do a theme show, like, you know, games... Mascot platformers for adults where assholes are involved. Report number one, Lizard King. Report number two, Repo Man. Report number three, Video Nasty Killer. I like the Home Improvement Killer. The Home Improvement Killer. killer. <laughs> Jack 2, The Revenge. Let me out. Thank you. Yeah, I've not played much of this. This is apparently pretty well regarded. Well regarded enough to get a, a remaster and all. So I assume that some people wanted that. I might be going backwards right now. It's hard to keep <laughs> straight in these environments. See you, Bordacious. Thanks for showing up. Yeah, see you around. We got a... I don't know what that is. Boy. This game looks like shit. <laughs> Sorry, but... <laughs> Just the incredibly muddy environments, the low texture detail, the frame rate. This is what I think of when I think of N64 games. Not to say that this game is at all anything unusual. But it is for adults. There is that. Go back to your freaking kid games. Your Marios. Your Zeldas. Honestly, I think nothing is more adult than a swamp. What? Oh, cool. <laughs> I was gonna say nothing is more adult than a swamp, but... You ever seen Shrek? Why did you have to bring that up? I was I was just thinking swamp thing. Thinking I, I made such a smart, smart... But no, Shrek. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Me. Shrek has ruined swamps. Shrek has ruined swamps. If you bring up the word swamp to anyone, there's a good chance they're going to say, get out of me, swamp. And then be like, remember Shrek? Yeah, that's what they'll say. Remember Shrek. That's exactly what they'll say, too. How to fight. How to do anything. This guy's he's good at jumping and grunting. Yeah, they should add Shadow Man to Fortnite. They should add all the Valiant characters to Fortnite. I agree. Like, maybe maybe you learn how to fight later on. 
Exo Manowar, Magnus Robot Fighter. I was going to say, imagine Magnus Robot Fighter versus Darth Vader. It'd be really sick. Well, it wouldn't work because he's not a robot. Oh, that's true. Does he only fight robots? Yeah. Why doesn't he fight humans? Because he's Magnus Robot Fighter. I mean... I've at... told you about this countless times. <laughs> at some point, there's got to be a human he can beat up. Like... Try to explain the concept of Magnus Robot Fighter to Alex. Nothing doing. We got a shimmy. Oh yeah, we got a shimmy, all right. This game has ambition. This game thinks it's high art. Okay, fair enough. This guy's shirt is pretty nasty looking. But he's in a swamp! He also can't die. Damn, that sucks. I bet in the game you can, though. They probably come up with some reason you can die. Like, you lost your... juice force. No more juice, so you're not alive. Should have kept up your juice force. <laughs> Should have had more uh, apple juice, banana juice, watermelon juice. Didn't know there was a juice mechanic in this game. Yeah. Shadow Man appears to have lost his footing. He, he can't climb this. I don't know how this plays as a 3D platform, but just at first glance, first impressions, this does not feel very good. I think he should collect more coins. I think he should go uh, Wahoo and possibly Yahoo. Mm -hmm. I think there should be a rainbow ride level. I'm so sorry. Oh, Alex, I think I hate this. <laughs> So you want to play this on Friday? No, I think we may go with Conquer. In fact, uh, okay. there's other ports of this to play, anyways. So we could oh, play I the Dreamcast where version. Go. Where? Okay, jump on that ledge. Other ledge. Shimmy. Oh, they make you shimmy. And then go up. Fuck. Fuck. But that is, I think, what you need to do. Well, maybe we can get through this if we tag team it. Oh God. You can tell me when I need to shimmy. And I'll mm -hmm. be like, fuck, why do they make you shimmy? Expect me to shimmy in a 1999 video game like it's fucking Uncharted or some shit. Go back to Sony. What does that even mean? Oh god. I did it. Hey there, Mike. Glad you could make it. How could I refuse your offer? How could I ever refuse you, Agneta? You can't. I'm simply irresistible. I hope you read the file I gave you and read it real well. Between the lines, you'll find the sign. You got my stuff? Come on in, hon. You know, on the way over here, I got to thinking about these Dark Souls. Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan. A lot of people can't stop thinking about Dark Souls once they first play it. Because that's impossible. Their power is their immortality. If evil ever manages to implant these immortal souls into its monstrous slaves, can you imagine the carnage an immortal, unbeatable army would bring to the earth? That's a This is the Dark Souls of Shadow Man games. Are they still talking? <laughs> okay, okay. So I really got to get to the Dark Souls before the bad guy. I understand that. But where do I find them? This guy just wants to sit at home all day playing Dark Souls. Do you blame him? Why you got to make so many problems for him? Not even the greatest Bokor or Mambo can open them to release the Dark Souls within. Look, man, you don't understand. I've been a big fan since Kingsfield. I played all the armored cores, all of them, all 50 of them. Just might be able to do it. Do you think they're from software freaks who get mad that they're all these new Johnny come latelys because of Dark Souls? <laughs> <laughs> the people who went back to Armored Core after okay, okay. first playing Dark Souls. People, yeah, like well, our, they like, shouldn't be allowed. Those games should be locked off to people who didn't play them back in the day. Yes, they're fortunately are absolutely okay. Jesus, Luke, he's alive, alive and in pain. I've got to help him. He's dead, Mike. You know that. I know, but I saw. It's understandable that you still have strong feelings for your brother. That's why the bear works for you. Connecting you to death side. Use it now, my There's a whole lot to take in here, and it's all explained through voice and story. Things that I don't care about in video games. Okay. 
Thank you so much, mm-hmm. Rachel Retro, yeah. for the big mm-hmm. raid. Welcome, everybody. We yeah. are playing. We're playing Shadow Man, except not Shadow anymore. Man. We're moving on to something else. Thank you for the raid, Rachel. Yeah, thank you. Hope you had a good stream. We're most of the way through a claims library. We're like at the tail end of 1999. Mm-hmm. Just got a dozen or so more games left. We played a lot of baseball. We played basketball. We played fucking so many NFL quarterback club games. Rachel, I'm sorry to say you raided just in time for us to play South Park Chef's Love Shack. Cool. She's going to undo the raid. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can do that by typing slash unraid. Uh, I understand. Don't worry. Slash unraid reasons South Chef's Love Shack. Reason South Park content. Mm-hmm. Well, we've seen one South Park game so far. It was an FPS where you can pee on snowballs and throw them at turkeys, and that's all you did. The Unraid, second game. Unsubscribe, unfollow, yeah, yeah. The second game is different. I remember this song. Mm-hmm. Remember South Park? It's still around. You can see it. You can go and watch it. You could. This is on Dreamcast. Can you believe that? Yes, Hello, I can. And gentlemen, and welcome to the show. Before we get started, we're going to need your help. Who's up for the challenge today? Just me. Anyone else want to end? Push the A button on your controller now. We got some Fight Cade uh, South Park Chef's Love Shack going on here. I was going to say, cool, Rachel streamed this game until it was too offensive and they had to shut it off. <laughs> nice. I think history is about to repeat itself. Grab Rolo here. Might as well be Cartman Two, again. Four, six, eight. Choose the rounds you want to make. Dealing with a pro, huh? Just a quickie then. South Park Alexis welcomes you to Chef's Love Shack, the sexiest, sultriest, most sensual game show on earth. The oh boy. Young, vivacious, uninhibited swimsuit models compete for the chance to spend a romantic weekend with our host. Due to the lack of young, vivacious, uninhibited swimsuit models, today's show will feature youngsters from South Park Elementary. And now, oh. to give it up for your host, the most eligible, edible, and ultimately unforgettable, Chef. How much of this game's ROM space is, uh, voice, Hello, do you think? Welcome to Chef's Love Shack. I'm your host, Chef. Probably all of it. It's like 90% wave files. To win a passion-filled weekend with me. Roy, let's meet our very lovely contestants. Lovely lady number one is Eric Cartman. That's it. Boy, why the hell can't we ever get lovely lady? Sorry, Chef. Rick James is in town. He's got all the lovely ladies. All right. Prince, you're right. These are JPEG voices. What category would it be, Eric? <laughs> this is the second in 64 game with the word asshole in it. You can't do that. That's fine. First, Shadow Man opened the asshole floodgates, and now everyone's saying the word asshole. Uh, that would be fucking... What? You can't even move the cursor. What? <laughs> How'd they fuck that up? What category would it be, Eric? Another asshole uh, joint. That's all. Oh my. That sounds like it's double downtime. Yeah, so this is a quiz show and minigame compilation based on South Park. Yeah. Now for the question. Did anyone want this? Did anyone buy this? The last one it's the last one i can't it. i can't move it down <laughs> this is a nightmare game show they invite me on game. and won't let me do the, the denver broncos <laughs> why is that the recurring theme tonight i can't i literally can't oh 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 you gotta buzz in first that's the that's the thing okay we figured it out we got the tech Next question, we got it. It's time to play Beefcake. If you're not sure how to play, check the instructions. I'll let you play this, I'm gonna let the cat out. What? No! Have fun. It's mini game time. Okay. We got this. Tired of being a 
Wow, it's like I'm playing the show. The cat demanded to leave after she saw this. Do you blame her? <sighs> it's a shame that no video evidence of South Park exists, so the only uh, recorded evidence of it is in these video games. Mm -hmm. It was good that we erased all evidence of it existing, though. It's for the best. But it just leaves you wondering, how funny was this show if this game is so funny? We'll never know. It was a collective hallucination, that's what it was, yeah. We all just imagined South Park happened. Hey, nice work! Hey! You're still in the negatives! Good job! H hooray! That was a great game! What category would it be, Eric? Alex, was that a great game? That one. It was as good as I could do! I want to say it's seven. Did you, did you buzz in? I pushed every button on the controller, I swear to god. None of them buzzed in. There we go. Marking her territory. Hey, we're back in the positives. What category would it be, Eric? I don't want to play any more of this. Okay, let's go. Have we, have we played enough South Park? We since absolutely Lovesha? have. We need to go. Uh, there is yet more evidence South Park existed and is not just a collective hallucination. I still say it's a hallucination, though. Mm -hmm. Good news, folks. We can't last a whole year without a new Turok game. Woo. So here we have our third one. Turok Rage Wars. He should calm down. He's got a lot of problems, right? Like... Turok's got issues, yeah? Expansion pack. Comic book issues. <laughs> Whoa! No, it, don't, don't blow me. It was bad. Ooh. Yeah. Was... Ooh. Woof. One player trials for me, please. So this is not a true sequel. This is a multiplayer focused deathmatch game using the Turok engine. It's basically Quake. God, there's so many unlockable characters. I should have played this beforehand and unlocked every single one of them. You should have. I didn't do my research. This is just totally Quake or Unreal Tournament or some shit. No! It looks exactly like it. Well, now it's got Turok. Haven't you always wanted to play with Turok? Yeah. He's your friend. Same controls. The face buttons and the recentering analog stick. Sure is quiet for a deathmatch arena. Oh, I saw a guy. Do you think people would like me if I got a Turok tattoo? Maybe back in the day. I'm okay. not so much sure nowadays. There's one guy on Twitch who would. <laughs> that guy who was who thought the new Turok game was coming from. Somewhere. Yeah, I was gonna say that one. That one Turok fan in in, in the, the PlayStation chat. If you just joined us, I was watching the PlayStation uh, game reveal thing earlier today, and they showed a, a trailer for Spider-Man 2, where a guy was going through a jungle, and some guy in chat was like, Turok, fuck yeah! God, that's so good. That's all I can think about all day. I would change my name to Turok for money, absolutely. I mean, would it have to be a legal, legal name change, or is it like when you're, tra when, like, you know, being trans, where I can just be like, listen, my preferred name is Turok, my legal name is... <laughs> I don't think anyone's preferred name is Turok. <laughs> I don't think Turok's preferred name is Turok. Where'd the guy go? It's it's so lonely out here. I just came here for a death match with my friends. The power is yours. Well, maybe if I had a different weapon. Okay. I'm over here. Come to where you hear the gunshots. Turok is a title passed down? That's good. I see. Okay, okay. 
I really could just start, start putting Turok on forms and stuff. No one can stop you. Yeah, who's gonna stop you? There are no rules anymore. Like... We did it. We killed Lord Dead. He's dead now. And it goes on like that because there is no campaign. It just has a selection of single-player challenges and multiplayer. That's Turok Rage Wars. A stopgap release if there ever was one. Well, we're making a new Turok, but we gotta tide people over. They can't go a whole year without a new Turok. They can't. They just can't. We've got Turok Mania running wild. We gotta capitalize. Mm -hmm. New year, new Turok. Next game. You know what game I'd like to see Turok in? A WWF game. Unfortunately, that never happened. But we do have WWF Attitude. The game of the Attitude Era. The sequel to Warzone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm all in. Why does Gangrel get a separate credit? Who's that from? Because they are from, um, Vampire the Masquerade. Really? Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah, Gangrel uh, is co is a copyright vampire of the masquerade. Yeah, I, I, that's a fun fact. That is a fun fact. Oh my god, there's so many characters in this. Wow, that's a lot. Hey, that's a lot. That's so many. Oh, I did see Christian at the show. Yeah, and Jeff Jarrett. Who should we play as? Uh, Jeff Jarrett. Versus... Um... Billy Gunn, Mr. Ass. All right, bringing Mr. Ass into this. I also saw Mr. Ass. Yeah, these are two yeah, characters. Not characters, two wrestlers who exist I mean, in the real world. they're characters, let's be honest. And they're still wrestling. You don't use a guitar like that. That's how he does it, because he hits people with it. He's El Cabong? Yeah. And the crowd goes wild. They love it. No, Jeff Jarrett is kind of like El Cabong, if you if, if you want like a comparison. Yeah, in the show I saw, his entourage like uh, bonked two guitars over people, and the guitars exploded. It was cool. Nice. They're probably like trick exploding guitars, but Aww. it was really cool. I wish real guitars did that. No, I, I'm sure that real guitars, you know. Real guitars would... should have a combustion engine. I you should hit real people with real guitars. There's Mr. Like, Ass showing off the goods. You know his name is Daddy Ass now. Yeah. I love that. Alex messaged me while he was at the, uh, I, the show I did. being like, I hey, did. the one wrestler you've heard of is here. I know, because again, it's the only wrestler you give a shit about. Yeah, I only know about Mr. Ass. That's just great. Bill Ass, yes. Bill Ass. Wow. Look at his majesty. Mm -hmm. I demand respect. Come get some. <laughs> they really look like action Burn figures there. Action. Oh they my do. god. Wow. What does it say on his ass, Mr. Ass? Yeah, actually. Okay. Well, this plays a whole lot like last year's game. In fact, it's pretty much identical. Yep, Mr. Ass. Good, good. Authentic. Against the rope. Identical, which is to say it's pretty simple. Not the kind of game you're used to if you've played the THQ wrestling games. If you played the Acclaim wrestling games on N64, you played the bad ones. However, this does have Mr. Ass in it, so it's so impossible good, to say yeah. if it's good or bad. Jeff Jarrett is dazed. Here comes some more. Yeah, it's cool that the guys who are doing stuff in like wrestling games from 1999 are still at it. They're still going. Oh, good punch. These are some okay animations, but the game doesn't really sell them all that well. You gotta sell your shit. In fact, he's standing up. Who is that? Yeah, Mr. Ash shorts are gonna be the, the new uh, shorts of the summer. We're just kind of falling all over each other. Yeah, everyone's 
in AEW now. I I was watching it and I was just like, wow, it's all the guys who I liked and I watched in 2012 and it's all the guys I liked in the past. I found the leave button. We're going to leave. God, this crowd. <laughs> it's a bunch of cardboard standees. Can I just... Oh, they are! Can I go back through the entrance and just go? Where's the kiss button? That's something that, that I've noticed. There's not a lot of kissing in wrestling. There should be! Look at it! Thank you. Hey, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go. Oh, he snuck in at the last second! Mr. Ass. Classic move. He won by most damage. Wow. That sucked. <laughs> good job, Acclaim. Good, good job. Good thing that's not the last wrestling game from them we've seen all the tonight. Because we're moving into the year 2000. We've reached the final year of Acclaim releases. This is the final stretch. Only a handful of games left. How will Acclaim finish up on the N64 before moving on to greener pastures? Like the Dreamcast, I guess. Well, they do it with All-Star Baseball 2001. Oh, good. Baseball was there till the very end. Just like in real life. Okay, this time really blow someone's dick off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, high-voltage software. They got the dick-blowing-off technology. They still got the Twizzlers uh, mm. <laughs> sponsorship. I'm going to say it. They fell off after they stopped animating the, the lizard in the iguana logo to be sexy. I agree! Their priorities are just clearly different for the latter half of their catalog. Never-ending sport, pals. That's what they call us. Hope you're enjoying the supersized stream. We only have like a few games left. I thought it was worth it. Definitely worth it. The song. What song is this? This sounds like the backing track to All Star. Kind of. Yeah, Guns N' Roses ass guitar. This is like minor key evil All Star. <laughs> Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your baseball. Oh, kill. What a game. What a game. See? Yeah, no, I get it's it. It's like I they're putting it. it through a weird filter or a flange or something. <laughs> Go play. Hey now, play a baseball. All right, this is the last baseball game we're going to see tonight. Let's play a couple of uh, balls. Is that what they call it? Yeah. They call it the old round ball. Round ball rock. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that they edited them to be more respectful in the sequels <laughs> instead of like the weird posing they did in the original. It doesn't feel like they were very patriotic at all to begin with, and now I feel the patriotism in this game. Let's head down to the action as the two teams are ready to play. The leadoff batter, Fernando Vini. Look at that deep fried JPEG. <laughs> oh my god. You're making me pitch again? Come on. No one likes to pitch. Heater. Just missed the batter. Just I'll get him. The batter. I'll get him this time, don't I worry. You got it. Fastball. Just missed the batter. Does it not let you hit the batter? Let's try a curveball. Breaking ball. Just missed the batter. So they get rid of the whole reticle aiming system that had been there since the beginning. And it doesn't let you hit the freaking batter! Fail. Oh, never mind. Never mind, we did it! That was a good hit, actually. He went down. He really went down. He's hurting. Now Oof. Edgar Gotta walk Red that Maria. off. Okay, never mind. This game might be good. Okay. This is the end. This is the end of baseball. Are you really going to bunt on me? Bunt? Are you kidding me? Get that shit out of here. And it worked? Yeah. Handing in Mark McGuire. Now Mark I'm pitching. McGuire, good job. You have to pitch against Mark Now I'm going to pitch McGuire. against Mark McGuire. I think You're this, a, you're dead. I think this the uh, this rookie has some potential, but I don't think he can hit a ball right down the middle. <laughs> oh fuck. 
line drive. Oh, he hit it pretty hard, actually. That Mark McGuire guy, he might be going places. Well, well, we finally have a score in baseball, a baseball game we've played, and it's against me, of course. Sorry. That's All-Star Baseball, the series on N64. It's okay, I guess. There had to be baseball, and there was baseball. There was baseball. Let's get back in the ring. Okay. It's been too long since our last wrestling game. So let's play the final... Acclaim Entertainment Sports wrestling game for N64. ECW Hardcore Revolution. Oh, boy. Not WWF anymore. It's ECW. Win a lizard? How do you win a lizard? I want a lizard. Did Wait, you, no, I don't have to take care of a did lizard. Did you make the iguana sexy in this? You better tell me you made the iguana sexy in this. No. no, there's no sexy iguana at all. Just a bunch of sexy men. It's Rob Van Dam. Now this is extreme. Alright, Alex, who's your favorite? I forgot there was just a guy called Balls. There is a there's just a guy called Balls? Yeah, go up. It just says balls. Yeah, it's balls Mahoney. I misread that. I thought it said Dallas. <laughs> no. All right, we're playing as balls Mahoney versus uh, RVD. I was gonna say I don't think any of these guys are in AEW. That classic match. Oh, we're we're wide. We're big. I think we got the muscle for this. Mm -hmm. Playing some bootleg Metallica back there. I do think Taz is in this. Okay. Okay. Taz... Let's say rest in hell. <laughs> this guy's cool. I'm glad we picked the best guy. Same. Sorry, Rob. We could only afford to have the lights flicker a little bit. It's okay. We couldn't afford a spotlight or anything. Sabu was on AEW tonight, so so this game also has people who are in AEW. My God, AEW is just the talent sponge, soaking up soaking up all these good old '90s guys. Please don't think too hard on that metaphor. It was really bad. No, we're soaking up the men. Oh man, why did I say that? Cool jump, RVD. Yeah. Get ready to bleed, <laughs> punk, because this action's gonna be hardcore. Big surprise, Fonzie. Lots of RVD t-shirts in the crowd tonight. You Seraph, is Kane 100 bits? Fun fact, when ECW went bankrupt in 2001, they still owed a claim $1.5 million. Oh, man. Well, good news. This plays exactly the same as the previous two wrestling games. Like, exactly the same. So I'm just going to leave. Hey! Balls is trying to take a leave of absence. Can't make me wrestle. I don't want to wrestle. I just want to go home and play video games. Mm -hmm. What are the odds that RVD is going to pull that same bullshit that got pulled on me last time where he enters the... Yeah, he's doing it! Come on, man. You can't just leave me stunned out here to get me counted out. Dude. <laughs> that is not an honorable win for RVD. <laughs> That was very... The The crowd is, is very upset about that. Everyone's very confused about how that match went. I don't think that was in the script, even. Well, um... Oh, my God. There's some real guys in this. Yeah. I could play more of this, but we technically played this twice over already because it's the exact same game, just with ECW. And that's the Acclaim experience with wrestling games on N64. The same game, three times over. Delicious. Delicious wrestling. Four games to go. The end is in sight. We can do this. We have a new celebrity entering the ring right at the very end of Acclaim's reign on N64. That celebrity? Jeremy McGrath. With Jeremy McGrath's Supercross. You know Jeremy. I don't, actually. He's a nice boy. Okay, is he nice? I don't know. Okay. 
that's got the offspring in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone should make an archive of all the different uh, renderings of the N64 expansion pack. There's been like a hundred of them in all the different games. That'd be a good gimmick co-host account or whatever. I it say would be. gimmick Twitter, but don't don't make a new Twitter account. Not yeah, not worth it. Is um... Jeremy McGrath. Supercross. There he is. Yeah, it looks good. Wait. I want this to be evening and the indoors. Actually, I guess it's already evening and indoors. Yeah, and indoor, so. yeah. Wait, I wanted Dallas. Houston. Good enough. Nice. I'm glad you're in Houston. Remember when Jeremy McGrath visited Houston? Yeah. Good days. The race today is in Houston. 100 bits from St. Aspertine. I just want the world to know that the official Dreamcast magazine said Jeremy McGrath is crap on two wheels. Ooh. So not a good game, apparently. Thank you for the bits. Thank you. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I don't play no motocross games. This doesn't seem like a good one, though. It's pretty chunky. Okay. This reminds me of the Wario course from Mario Kart 64. <laughs> also, I'm getting big Boss Baby vibes. I'm sorry, my only relation to motocross racing is something I saw in Mario Kart once. I mean, that's more than most people have. Jeremy! Jeremy! Aw, oh, jeez. Jeremy, you're... You're stuffing this one up. All your fans, what are they gonna think? You went the wrong way, Jeremy! And you fell. You fell out of bounds, Jeremy! Jeremy! This has been a fun look back at the N64. Yeah, it's been a nice variety of games, too. With so many years since the N64 has been relevant, like, all the good games and all the hidden gems have been pretty thoroughly cataloged. So I think there's some value in reliving what the experience was actually like. Like, back then, you weren't playing, like, freaking Wonder Project J2 or whatever. You were playing some shit from Acclaim. It was whatever was a Blockbuster or Video Central. That was the N64 experience. This could be fun. Not my kind of fun. I was but gonna say, this would be fun if it sucked less. This would be fun if it had Wario in it. Yeah, yeah. I'm stuck. Did they put Wario in, Wario in the Mario movie? That might be a spoiler. Okay, don't tell me then. <laughs> like, like spoiling Mario's realistic panic attack. <laughs> Remember when Mario had to call his therapist? That was cool. That really made me feel seen and uh, and validated, like my parking. I'd validate your parking. Thank you. That's so kind. We just need some kindness in the world today. Really we need more do. people to validate parking instead of invalidate it. Next game. Good work, Jeremy. You did all right. I wonder what he's up to nowadays. Driving. I have good news and bad news, Alex. Yeah. Good news is football. The bad news is this is the final football of the night. Oh, I'm sorry. In 2000, the final N64 football game from McLean was released. NFL Quarterback Club 2001. No more Sport Pals. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Sport Pals. We have played more sports game tonight than any That's other stream we've ever done. the most sports I think we've ever played. I can play a sport. I'm not anti-sport. I'm not anti-sport either. I will watch a good old sport. Hello again, everybody. This is Mike Patrick. Where's the intro with Brett Favre fawning over himself? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh, maybe he's about to do it. Talk about pressure, Randy. This is for the lead and possibly the win. I'll say it. These last two games have had good intros. Mm -hmm. I really love self-absorbed Brett Favre. <laughs> Yeah, it's Brett Favre. Is that how I've been pronouncing him? Uh, never mind. It's Favre. It's Favre? That doesn't sound right to me. Hey, guess what, Alex? High Voltage Software, the company who made this? Yeah. Also from Austin. So this has just been a secret Austin showcase, huh? Mm-hmm. He drops back to pass. 
Austin, Texas, home of Iggy's Wrecking Balls. And football. He caught the football! I can't believe it! He did it! Get that logo out of the way. There. Nobody can see Brett Favre. Ooh, NFL play. Something's wrong here. It didn't recommend the Denver Broncos. I was going to say, where are the Broncos? <laughs> the first time it hasn't auto-selected the Broncos. You can tell we're getting at the end. They don't even care about the Broncos tradition anymore. Oh, let's go right down the middle. Well, we have a field. We have 11 players on both sides. We have a football. And we have a lot of action here tonight at uh, Fuckhead Stadium. I don't know where we are. It's probably Fuckhead Stadium. And set to kick it away. Bam! My question is, why kick the football if you're just going to catch it and run with it again? Don't You're acting like you want to get rid of it. Instead, you're just Jordan obsessed with it. He swarmed the you. To the -yard line. I think I'm on defense again. He swarmed you like bees. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do the bike blast. The fuck is the mike blast? <laughs> A play invented by football player Mike Blast. This is a play that just blasts all mics on the field. They instantly explode. It's like playing a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Putting mic on blast on my Twitter. I play mic blast face down. George, George. He's taken down after a good gain on the play. I summon blue eyes, mic blast. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say it. N64 had Madden. N64 had NFL Blitz. This is neither of those. Not even close. NFL Quarterback Club was a distant third place the entire time the N64 was relevant. And nowadays, if you look for used N64 games at uh, used game stores, you are going to find a shitload of Quarterback Club games. Seriously, like the most common game available for the system. I have seen so many Quarterback Club carts. Nobody wants them. Nobody wants to play it. But they exist. Mike Blitz still exists. Mike Blitz. Mike Blast. Mike Blitz. And Mike Blitz and Mike Blast. We have all kinds of techniques for taking care of Mikes, but uh problem is there's players with other names too. Mike Blitz is a Eurobeat name. Yes. <laughs> He's racked up hard at the 48-yard line. It's a real mass of humanity out there. That's it, that's football. that's football. I'm done playing football. I'm not going to play a single second more tonight. Football. Good job with the football, everybody. Good job with football. Oh, no, is that really next? Sorry, honey. <laughs> now, I did mention the one big non-sports license that Acclaim licensed back in the day made big money for him, and they kept making these games up until the very end. This is the final South Park game for the N64. South Park Rally! They made a freaking kart racer based on South Park. You know, of course they did. They had to. They were going to make one based on Austin Powers. <laughs> Sad that shit never happened. You know I am too. Oh, another rendition of the South Park opening. Primus is going to sue us twice over. It happens. Whoa, this looks way worse. Yeah, this looks bad. This is good. Kenny's so small, and he's dead. He dies. Woof. You can smell the budget on this one. <laughs> Remember that lavishly recreated opening in the first game? Yeah. They just did not give a shit. We got more characters here, at least. Let's be windy. I wonder who the unlockables are. Probably like the fucking piece of poop. Yeah. Or other characters from the first few seasons. Probably uh, Cop Cartman is one of them, I bet. Mm hmm. You gotta respect his authority. This racetrack is demented. Look at this. 
<laughs> this isn't a straight line. This is. What is this? This is nonlinear racing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh no, it's a checkpoint based racer. Where the fuck am I going? I'm, I'm turned backwards. I was too busy looking at the mini map. Where are you? I am woman, stop it! That's a mood. Is that just a bunch of blood? <laughs> I guess so. Where's the checkpoint? You, you missed it, I think. Okay. There it is. Oh, cool. oh, good, we got it. Is this fun? No, this is... <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever played. <laughs> This might be worse than Chef's Love Shack. <sighs> if we don't remember history, we're doomed to repeat it. So it's important to remember South Park in that regard. So we won't make more South Park? But they still keep making it, is the thing. Yeah, they do! It's everywhere! It's a it's an underpants gnome, remember them? I do. You get a Terrence and Philip power up. Oh, it's a fart! Of course. It's a fart, Alex! Is it funny? Do you like this? Farts are always funny. Wait, there's multiple laps, so it's a checkpoint based race with maps. With laughs, sorry, it's uh oh, cool. This game has completely broken me. This doesn't even play like a cart racer because it's so non-linear. But it does exist. South Park had a huge presence on N64 and they now did. and now we know. We now know to just what extent. What a time it was. Do you like this? Is that Our final game of the night <laughs> is Turok 3. I can't stand playing another second of that. I'm sorry. Turok 3, Shadow of Oblivion. We're bookending our stream with Turoks. We started off with Turok 1, and now we're at the final acclaim release for the N64. Turok 3, Shadow of Oblivion. I'm ready for Oblivion. Let's jump right in. We did it! We played 33 games tonight! Holy shit! That's not a new record or anything, but they felt really, uh... It was really strenuous somehow. Mm-hmm. Turok 3! Marketed by Acclaim. Now, are they gonna bring back the freaking iguana for Turok? They Please. have to, right? Come on. They have to. If they're He's gonna so render fine. the expansion back, they gotta render the freaking iguana. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have a rendered Acclaim logo. And... <gasps> He's back and better than ever! And it gets an Austin shout-out! It's no longer Iguana, by the way. It's a claim stu- Oh. That seems appropriate. Well, he died. Given what happened to a claim, that seems very appropriate. That's basically what happened to a claim, yeah. I didn't know that would happen. I'm sorry to all the lizard fans out there. I'm just as disgusted as you are. I thought you knew that was going to happen because it's no. really poetic to have the lizard literally die like that. It is poetic. It's unfortunate, but poetic. Truck it out of the mental hospital. I assume a lot of story happened. Well, that's the oh, end of Turok. Okay. He had Turok's a good run. Gone. Just like the lizard, he had a good run.
It was all a dream. Whoa, tiny bed. <laughs> I love the Jinkos. <laughs> oh, he can't afford anything more than a kid's bed. <laughs> Poor Turok. <laughs> All right, you horn dogs. I don't want to hear it. Josh. God, though. <laughs> yeah, he sleeps in his jeans. I still think Mr. Ass had a bigger ass. Mm -hmm. Gold Dust actually had the biggest ass. You hadn't been here for us the past few weeks. Why won't you let me help you? The child. What? This is the end. The child. The child. Yeah, character animation ain't bad. I don't understand. There's a lot of polygon seams I, I can see. You to. I'm not sure I understand myself, not completely. This isn't RB RGB modded in 64. Maybe you can't see the seams as well on, like, composite. happens to me, you must not let the family die out. The three of us are the only members of the fire team. Yeah, Turok went crazy with the eyeshadow. It's really overdoing it. If the Turok line does not continue, the balance will alter. If that happens... What? If the Turok line doesn't continue, Acclaim won't have any more games to make. Oblivion. I heard had a horrible dream where they killed the lizard in their logo. Just electrocuted the poor fucker. That's a hell of an intro. He keeps a framed photo of his favorite chicken. <laughs> That's a pretty good chicken. <laughs> Wakes up every morning, goes downstairs kisses his hand and puts it on the chicken picture. <laughs> he spent all his money on the chicken painting. That's why uh, that's why his bed's so small. This is cinema. I'd see a Turok movie. If people saw a Mario movie, they'd see a Turok movie yeah, for sure. That's... You're too loud. <laughs> oh, badass. Oh, shit. One bullet, sick. Yeah. Damn, he's shirtless. Too late for me. The two of you the have jeans to get out and the slippers, I love them. I love that they framed the chicken painting in every single shot. It's so oh wow! Good. <laughs> oh Josh! No! Get out! Get away from here! We can't leave you here! Not much. Not much choice, my brother. Go on. Love you, yeah, is Jet Force Gemini a platformer? I looked at some footage and I couldn't tell. Is it? It looks like it has a jump. Yeah, his name is Josh Turok. Oh, fuck. Sick, Josh. It's over. He's gone. I can't believe I paid $80 for Turok 3 and it's just an intro cinematic showing me how Turok died. <laughs> I know this was rushed, but come on. Come with me. Uh. It's like a fifth of a platformer, metal arm style. Hmm, okay. This so maybe we don't need to rank it. We must wait here. The council has summoned you. Who are you? Yeah, the nerd became I Turok, because the original Turok died. Joshua spoke of you often. He's dead. I know. Be still now. The Animated Turok movie! Yeah, 2008 too, so you know it's gonna be good. Here, Gotta watch that shit. Whoa! These are the keepers of the light. What's the with, I like that. What's with the ball they gagged robot? Turok. Bring back the ball gagged robot. The what? Turok? Us? Adon, I... Silence. Your work is a no weakness. The sons of stone have failed. A new cause must be set. There is a new cause. Speaker, can the woman bear the burden? Be still. It does make sense that Turok died with the lizard. 
Yeah. This is a very poetic book ending. I didn't even realize when I was setting up this stream. I was gonna say, this is really good, Danny. Good job. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Begin with Iraq, Turok, end with Turok. The new guy should be called Iraq. Get rid of the T. Keep subtracting letters with the new successors. The next one is Rock. After that is just Ock. They should do Turok hey, backwards. This is the kind of dinosaur <laughs> fighting humans. This is the kind of commentary you get after you play 33 Acclaim games in a row. <laughs> yeah. What if Turok was Iraq? Whatever you say, BDSM Gladys. Isn't Gladys regular BDSM? Wait, yeah, she is actually. <laughs> yeah, never mind. You can be Danielle or. I will bear the burden of my fathers. I will wield the light. The new Turok is a girl! Well, you had a choice between a boy and a girl, and you chose the girl. I wasn't looking. I played 33 Acclaim games, Alex. I'm, I can barely stand to look at the screen. That's fair. I am not It is done. Accidental woke. Yeah, girl rock. Girl rock? Whoa! What's with this perfect dark shit? This looks I good. There as soon as I can. Damn, they got some detail in this game. Holy shit. This is the best looking Turok to date. And where is the fog, I ask? Whoa. Can I make this jump? Oh, not even close. <laughs> and so the next generation of Turok comes to an end. <laughs> we need a new third to rock. Rock, get in here. I have to get there as soon as I can. It makes sense this was kind of uh, perfect dark influenced. People tended to like that game. N64 was kind of a first person shooter heavy console, come to think of it. It was, yeah. Alright, well, we found two different ways to die on the first screen. Cool. Let's see if we can uh, find the progression point instead. <laughs> That must be the breach Adon talked about. I Very innovative approach to game can. making. You gotta find all the death points first. Go to the breach. Alex, let me know if you see a breach. Okay. We gotta send Turok off in style. Oh, there's someone. Can you ask them a question? Okay. No. It's the secret to progressing in this couch. No. You should take a nap there, though. Yeah, I agree. Careful. I'm gonna be one of those persons who goes into escape room and just starts tearing everything up. Is there a key in here? You've never done an escape room, have you? No. We should do an escape room sometime. Okay. It's like a real-life multimedia game. I like the sound of that. It's dark in here! I can't see anything! I think my gimmick for being the new Turok is I'm going to be the complainy Turok. The Turok it's, who hates. It's dark in here! I don't want to do this! It's the kind of things the new Turok would say. I like this. This is exactly what Turok should do. It's realistic is what it is. Like, <laughs> I guess this is an elevator, but it's dark as shit. Yeah. Oh, real working elevators in real time. Where's the freaking dinosaurs? You wanna kill a dinosaur? Honey, it's aliens. Not dinosaurs. But I'm a dinosaur hunter. Sorry, honey. I got my weapons yet. Oh yeah, it's bow time. You gotta have a bow in a Turok game. Mm-hmm. Nice of them to just leave a quiver of arrows around. Yeah, that's my house quiver. You know, mm -hmm. keep it next to your fire extinguisher. Is 
So you don't get dinosaurs until like three fourths of the way through the game. Fuck this. What a bunch of bullshit. Is this the information kiosk? Can mm -hmm. I get some information here? Well, Alex, what have we learned about Turok? Don't. Let's look safe. Okay, never mind. Um, we've learned that Turok is a name bestowed on people, not an actual name name. Right. Uh, that there was a lot of Turok games because Acclaim really believed in Turok, or Turok was cheap or something. They really believed in Valiant up until a point. <laughs> There was, yeah, I, there was a Turok game released more recently, uh, Turok Escape from Lost Valley. I don't know what I learned about that game, but uh, it's available. And I mostly learned that Turok... Um, Turoks! That's exactly what I learned, yes! There's yes. your review. You can go home, just cut it and print it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Turok Turoks on N64. It does. Chat says turd rock. Good, great. Wow, wow, wow. Not a lot of love for Turok nowadays. He was a big star back then. Nowadays, kind of hard to see why. Thank you for the bits, Simon. Just found out that you can turn off blood in Turok too, which makes the zombie enemies trivial to deal with because they have a ranged spit attack where the spit mm -hmm. is blood. When you turn off the blood, you turn off the attack. That's great. <laughs> cool. They didn't even consider that. That's That's awesome. Yeah, the new Turok game is for, like, it's, I don't know if you saw this, Danny, but it's cutesy. Yeah? Have you seen the cutesy Turok? Oh, yeah, that one! They rebooted it again just a couple years ago to be cute. Yeah, what do you think of that? I don't know what to think of that. That goes against the edginess I stand for. Hey, look. Please don't hurt me. I won't hurt you. Can you take me out of here? Follow me! <laughs> it's right up here. Okay, follow him. By the way, did I mention the camera controls in all these games are inverted? The entire time I've been playing with inverted controls, it's horrible. I'm so sorry. Did they die? <clears throat> I guess so. Okay, cool. Oh, there you go. Finally, we're on the city streets. Yeah, Rip built the tree. Alex, do you see another irony? Inherent in our bookending of Turox. We started off in the jungle. Clear the street. But now oh. we're in the now we're in the urban jungle. Oh make, I get it. Make okay. you think. Mm -hmm. Make you think. This is your most intelligent stream yet. Thank you. I feel it's very nuanced. What the duh, what what is it? It's a creature. That's not a dinosaur. It's a spider guy. Cool. Damn. His soul went up to heaven. Did you see that? I like that. Well, we've seen a lot of games tonight. We've seen sports games. We've seen Turok. We've seen Turok again. We've seen Turok a third time. And unbelievably, we've seen Turok a fourth time. We saw a lot of Turok. We saw a lot of South Park. Mm-hmm. And a lot of sports games, so I guess that's the legacy of Acclaim? The the few individual uh, creative games that weren't based on anything. I was gonna say Iggy Rec Iggy's Wrecking Balls is one of them, and I was about to say that Our Marines is another, but that's Valiant too. I was gonna say that's Valiant. So mostly licensed games, mostly sports games, mostly stuff that would sell. That's the Acclaim way. That's just, the Acclaim way. Just pump out as much stuff will sell. When it sells, strike while the iron's hot. Kill that golden goose. Kill it and eat it. What's it ever going to do for you, anyway? <laughs> and with that, that's the end of Turok 3 and the end of Acclaim. Acclaim did not last much longer after this, and it's easy to see why. They had all the ambition and funding of a midway, but not really the ability to produce a whole lot of good games. Mostly because, like, half of these were from one studio, the I Iguana guys. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Iguana could have done even better if they had just a fraction of games that they were contracted to make. But that's what you get when you just pump out a shit ton of games with very limited developer support. And uh, not much, you know, vision for the future, I guess. Yeah. It's just what's popular now. I don't know. Baseball, football, Turok. Sure. Pump it out. We got no other ideas. Iggy's Wrecking Balls? Sure, go for it. Yeah, why not? Why did no one buy Iggy's Wrecking Balls? We better go back to Turok and sports. That's the Acclaim Legacy, and that's the Acclaim Story on N64. Thank you all for watching. Thank you. We're done here. 
this stream was for adults. Uh, if you weren't an adult, you shouldn't have been watching it. Mm -hmm. Go tell your parents. They need to punish you. No! <laughs> this stream is because of our patrons. Thank yes. you, patrons, for voting the way you did. It's because the patron vote went that way that we played Acclaim Games instead of THQ this week. So much appreciated for uh, driving our stream output. Yeah, it's what we you. do, and we do it for you. We do it for you. If you want to join the club, head to patreon.com slash retropals. If you're in the $5 tier, you get new polls every week. There will be a new one this Friday. Look out for it. Mm -hmm. No idea out. what that's going to be, but it's going to be good, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm looking for a raid target. Alex, why don't you wrap us up? We are also on YouTube, youtube.com slash retropals. We post full-length highlights of what we stream every week, including our latest one, which is a look at excess games on PS1. So if you want to... You want to see some real jank? Jank that got us audio pulled. So, well, the thing is the audio pulled, but we have to share revenue. So, thanks, <laughs> yeah. thanks. But yeah, we are on YouTube, so do check us out there if you'd like. We also have a Discord. Let me just drop that link in the chat. You can go to our Discord to continue the game chat, to talk about cats, to talk about uh, God, a lot of things. A lot of things. Talking about a lot of things. We have a lot of Turok to discuss on the Discord. I was going to say, please so bring the Turok discussion to the Discord. Better get it started early. Mm -hmm. It's important. It's very important. Folks, friend of the show, Eltriok, is playing the original Ganbare Goemon for Super Nintendo, aka Legend of Mystical Ninja. Looks like this is a retranslation. They retranslated this. There was a lot they cut from the US release. I, I didn't know there was a translation for the original version. You might want to follow Eltriok because tomorrow I'm going to be on his stream. We're going to play golf. Oh, cool! We're going to do our Neo Turf Masters round together, and he's probably going to kick my ass, so uh, look forward to that. Cool, cool! Have a good rest of your evening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. See ya, folks.